let us come to this point. Uh, that background, we will keep in mind that human ability or human, uh, you know, uh, the best form and more intellect, etc. So that one we will keep in mind when we make a discussion. Now, present scenarios that put quality at risk. Inconsistent closure and reopening of factories, we know that that uh, sudden closure of factories, right, everywhere in the world as if. And meeting deadline has become more important than quality now because certain goods are highly demanded. And those goods were not demanded earlier so much, right? So deadline was more important than quality at this point of time. Lockdown imposes any time and supply chain stakeholders do not get much time to plan during this time. We recognize this kind of scenarios. The prolonged storage of goods, particularly in humid Southeast Asia, risks the interaction of more stains and rust. So extending the storage time of goods in warehouses and factories without timely quality inspection greatly increases this risk. Now, it, a quick pre-shipment inspection on a limited sample produced by the factories, etc. So you can think about condition of packaging, moisture content, etc. So these are giving some sort of real pictures. More on it. WIP working process is left anywhere during this COVID situation. Workers move to remote places and they are not quickly available to return or to come back and start their job. About the time the, when production resumes, it may take time because things were left in different places. And so errors will occur and during manufacturing processes, invariably it will result in defective product. And it will harm to the brand's reputation. China did something strict, right? Because they claim that they control the coronavirus or COVID and they put their normal operations under that situation. But many other countries couldn't do that. Factories in less developed countries like ours may be inclined to get operations moving without waiting for the required approval even from the appropriate authorities, etc. More on it. So normally factories are giving optimistic pictures to the to the customers. Right, so they give even inaccurate information also. Now factories may increase over time to produce the product and they can in, they may increase or they can increase or they are increasing shifts or double shifts and so and so forth. So there could be some sort of uh, mistrust between the producer and the customers and consumers are unlikely com to compromise on their expectations of quality of goods they purchase. So that is the consumer behavior. So what is needed now? Quality, re resilience, agility and success in the face of this adversity. So these are the needed things, right? So there could be several lessons. Supplier quality issues are intensified during emergency situations. Or in certain cases compromised. So quality must be extensible across an organization's entire ecosystem. This is important. If we consider one organization, within the organization, there is an ecosystem. Ecosystem basically means interaction between 
different units or different parts or components. And flexible quality process systems and teams are critical in the crisis. So we need to act or react quickly and to be competitive, stay ahead of other competitors. Now, advancing quality amidst the pandemic, what could be the next steps? Ensure quality data connectivity as much as possible using the modern computer facilities, right? So all sorts of data should be put in connective manner, in a systematic manner, so that right information can be generated very quickly. Now, in a state of proactive, etc., we need to have even predictive quality management now. Not only proactive, not definitely reactive. Not only proactive, rather predictive quality is important. Continually maintaining high quality standards for supply chain partners. So vigilance, etc., is required. With the same, one keyword was not said thus far. That keyword is called process. So we see when we produce anything, indeed, everything is produced under certain processes. So processes are set of ordered activities. Little earlier, we have said about data connectivity, etc., or information connectivity. So that is important, sequence or consequential, you know, uh, activities, etc., must be coherently set in a production line, etc. So these, if we put that one, we call it the process chain or value chain. To increase the value, this is very important, right? So process organization aims to perform each of these processes optimally and efficient. There could be other types of organization. You might know that product type organization and other types of organizations, but we are talking about process organization to best use of the resources optimally and efficiently or effectively and efficiently. So when we are thinking about high value addition, Michael Porter gave a value chain diagram over here, I just took it. So you can see the primary activities and you can see the supporting activities over there. So inbound logistics quality must be operations, then outbound logistics, marketing and sales and then services, which is the support activities of human resources management, technology management, procurement, etc. So here we can reach to quality value added. Department based organizations are there, but we are talking about process based that will require changes through observations, thoughts and actions. So actions must be made by people, as I given Quranic verses, and people-oriented issues are there, so we have to apply our intellect. Now, critical elements towards process-based organization, there must be an organization that is compatible to accommodate, you know, creativity and leadership, not only management, leadership, and, and control the behavior towards competitive advantages. And creativity could be, uh, uh, should be there, explored from organizational population, which should be a leverage for, element for organizational efficiency and effectiveness. And the leadership is very important in this circumstances. So we must think about mission, vision, and core values and objectives of organization. At the same time, not the bureaucratic organization, organization must be self-managed autonomous organization, right? So 
bureaucracy is eating bottlenecks and autonomous organization is creating coherence and that is more productive that is more uh, uh, effective so autonomous teams or autonomous organization is very important because we have to make decision very quickly under these circumstances so when we need to make decisions we need to create a small small group and then let the group have the autonomy to make their own decisions and then uh, uh, that will uh, of course increase the benefits to customer and reduce the burden so benefit to benefits to burden ratio is very important uh, finally to add the value to the product so then it will increase ability to fully tap and utilize both human and physical resources right and organization impacts effectiveness in terms of quality efficiency uh, that is productivity so when we are talking about process based organization we need to focus on these things and <clears throat> we are going to get some results we have given over here and why process based organization we put a difference between traditional and process based organization so here we can see if we look at the process based organization we can see significant difference and process based organization is going to give us prompt actions and prompt decision making also at the same time connecting the data from different units or different departments very quickly under process based because regularly data is maintained data is analyzed so i am not going to discuss word by word <clears throat> and that is creating some <clears throat> that is a creative type of organization when we are talking about process based organization we need to think about different product mixes right product are changing and we need to uh, think about product and process and human resources and other things facilities so creativity must be there creativity or contemplation is important very much so we need to define and redefine and improve the processes almost a very frequent there are different types of creativity i have here noted two uh, uh, technical creativity finding improvement in a process so as to improve quality and productivity and another one is inventive creativity making or de devising new combination of ingredients so the definition of creativity is given over here so we can see we are not talking about traditional creativity which is written over here which is individualistic we are talking about process based creativity which is about system concept context system means when we connect all elements all factors all variables in an integrated manner right which is as if as if some sort of living being as if you can look it as if a living being that is called process based or system context although it is non living a production environment is a non living environment but you look it as if a living being like human body if some parts of human body is infected the entire body is becoming unable or dysfunctional so when we are talking about process based we we think that way we think from the point of system uh probably i cannot elaborate so much uh, because of time constraint but in case of traditional thing management or traditional production etc we cannot think that way we cannot think that we need to wait for this data this or that information we need to run behind this person that person so and so forth and it takes long time and there is no connectivity etc there is no integration there is no system thinking so that is some sort of you know uh, dead kind of thing so there are uh, uh, different items or different elements so process based system context creativity elements or domain you need to define a domain then you need to define field then you need to define individuals 
who will carry out that idea, who will come up with a novel idea or concept when it is selected by appropriate field for inclusion in the relevant domain and idea. So here we are giving regard to the right people. We are giving regard to the right people, right? And when those people are coming up with some ideas, some noble thinking, some noble product, etc., we are actually giving appreciation to them and our system is going to be uh, uh, functional, uh, not only functional, but productive and effective. And that, the, the, the other way we can say it is uh, sustainable because people would like to see that situation that is going to be uh, rewarding. So here you can think about subsystems, subprocess, etc., and integrate all those things and you can come up with that kind of, you know, total system, including everything. So system models of creativity is more effective over restrictive trait models. Now, in that case, we need to have a creative thinking environment. So this is philosophical indeed. We need to have a creative thinking environment. It's a great attention now. Several schools of thought and many models are there, formation of creative personality. Two primary schools of thought for formation of creative personality are psychoanalytic theory in terms of personal struggle and strife. And another one is humanistic theory driven by human needs structure. So uh, if we combine these two theories, or two uh, uh, types of, you know, creative models, then we can come up with some sort of integrated model. And that will actually fulfill not only the uh, production uh, needs, as well as that will meet the human needs. So, so all parties, so it, this is socio, economic and socio-technical, the other words we have said already, economic, social, and environment, everything will be covered that in other way around we call sustainability. So these two theories we need to understand, of course, by giving some time and then we can apply these theories and then we can come up with them. Now, uh, let us uh, say a few words about PT problem solving. Of course, uh, in production or quality, whatever we say, we deal with problems, right? So first thing we need to perceive the need or problem to stimulate and direct action. Then we need to have preparation, then incubation, then insight and then verification. So these are the uh, steps, right? We need to perception, preparation, incubation of idea, and inside exploring for news, ideas, etc., and verify that ideas or concepts to resolve the quality or other issues in an organization. Stages of creative problem solving, we give it quickly. So problem identification, problem analysis, idea generation, evolution and application of that. We may divide them into aggregation, abstraction and review. So this is the model for creative problem solving. Now when we are talking about uh, problem solving, understanding the present problem is very important. We can ask these questions, right? Then we can uh, analyze the quality related problem. So uh, problem definition can be found by asking these questions. If we want to know the <clears throat> greater detail of these questions, why is a big question? And we can see under what we can ask other questions. What is the main quality issue? And what are the symptoms of lack of quality assurance? We have given some scenarios in the beginning. So we can uh, put those scenarios over here. Uh, and we can ask uh, further questions and come uh, up with... Sir, time is sir. I am the constraint, sir. Hey, I am the. 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 I
we can we can ask these questions and more questions and we can know the uh, real world situation and we can solve the real world problem you see uh, here there are quite a number of issues under each of them so i cannot go into the detail but if a, anybody is taking that then, uh, it can be uh, applied and understood it is problem solving theories <clears throat> so there are some theories how to solve the problems quality related problems or productivity related problems so wolford's theory uh, is one theory you can see the uh, cognition and memory convergent divergent thinking and evolution etc so these we need to understand indeed gibbon's theory or lateral thinking group think uh, theory is also called and there are several six hats are there different colors and you can use these six hats when you are thinking in different stages another one is called common thread theories that is a little bit that is real bit traditional and factors affecting creative efficiency so individual and organizational factors are there. so and of course we must have knowledge so knowledge base must be uh, developed over there creative thinking is driven by knowledge so thinking knowledge and uh, uh, constantly expanding that knowledge is very important and another thing is about environment over there so business and technical or scientific culture in an organization is important so right people right knowledge right place right focus is necessary to solve the quality related problem so then another issue is innovation innovation is application of creative idea uh -huh. into economic uh, uh, for economic benefit so that is innovation and how to innovate this is a structure over there probably uh, i am i am finishing so i have two more slides this and that so solution to the scenarios that we have given in the beginning yes, implementation of inline monitoring or a during production inspection prompts the factory to internal quality control process and allows the importer an objective third party inspection of goods so the results you can see no major quality issues found during this process and improper an uh, importer may more comfortably take the decision uh, to ship uh, the product without a final shipment in a special and also the other benefits you can see the opportunities are generated out of this so and having an inspection company uh, conduct the factory visit is something that give importer an objective view in uh, on the on the factory to ensure they have required authorization and check the production capacity of the factory and ship to our time tables of the factory to uh, produce the product according to the new demand so with that thank you very much sorry it is difficult to actually explain something so quick thank you uh, professor mohammad iqbal for giving me this chance to share something if anybody is interested to see my slides i will send it because this slides needs attention indeed and uh, needs to understand clearly for application because i have said this lecture is more philosophical than lecture uh, 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 professor uh, dr mohammad iqbal uh, the chairman of the session and dr mamoon and all others thank you so much Oh, yeah. oh, thank you, uh, Professor Abdulin Sir, for your excellent presentation, and it has enhanced our knowledge in the quality, including the creativity and the solution, uh, so nicely presented. And we have, I, I think, uh, we have a lot of questions, but the time is less. I don't know about uh, Dr. Mamunu Noshir. Is there any time for the question answering, or you we'll go for the next session? No, no. Later, later. When we discuss the industry panel discussion. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. From my side, I thank the audience and the.
authority of the bim and the our uh, keynote speaker uh, uh, for the uh, attending and for uh, giving us the time to present and to get the knowledge by everybody thanks again Thank you. okay uh, now uh, now the uh, keynote session will be the presided by the uh, professor arun roshit the absence of the uh, professor of the mosharo roshit now preside the session arun roshit our keynote speaker professor m sharifulla uh, kitab institute of technology japan uh, the topic is the kano model based quality control of product uh, professor sharifulla is my phd supervisor so i am happy pleased to uh, my professor is attend this uh, symposium professor harun roshit now the preside the session sir okay uh, thank you uh, dr maun roshit and uh, so now we are uh, welcoming uh, professor sharifulla uh, he is a professor in kitami institute of technology in japan and he graduated from bruet and then he work in the asian institute of technology and the united arab emirates and he is a renowned professor in japan and he has a, a lot of publication and iom society uh, we organized a webinar and in that webinar he also attended so thanks for him and now today he is uh, uh, attending uh, giving a delivering keynote speak speech here so uh, we do have time constraints so i'm just giving the microphone to professor sharifullah Thank you, Professor Rashid, for your nice introduction, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for inviting me. And special thanks to Dr. Mamun for remembering me. Usually, people forget their <laughs> supervisor, and if, for Mamun, uh, it seems that he remembered me a lot. <laughs> anyway, we have only twenty minutes, so I will go with the Shinkansen speed, very high speed. Is it all right? Okay. Can you see my slides? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we can see it. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's great. So uh, I will talk about the uh, Kano model based quality control of product or something like that. So it will be a little bit different than. traditional idea of quality so in that case you might think well, what what i am hearing is something different so uh, in that case maybe we can talk in other sessions so let us start uh, with product as you know like a human being product has a life cycle <clears throat> so this is a very simplified scenario of product life cycle at the beginning somebody has to make a strategic decision to launch a product mm -hmm. then customer needs will be evaluated then concepts will be generated and based on the concept virtual models will be generated then we will apply our knowledge to uh, finalize the solution and finally we will make some prototypes so based on those prototypes we will make our manufacturing line and we will go for manufacturing finally we will, the manufactured product will go to the suppliers then we will use it during use we will get service and when we don't need it we will dispose it off and if we are lucky enough we can recycle some of the parts and finally it will go to Uh, the garbage area of the municipality or something like that so this is the whole product life cycle so quality of product or even the quality yeah. control everything we have to think based on this uh, uh, product life cycle now in this product life cycle there are some critical parts that we call product development that uh, incorporates uh, customer needs concept generation virtual model making and model selection and this this has to be somehow uh, linked with what a user wants actually so this has a very high correlation with user needs or something like that. 
that means we uh, we always have it is tumara jagah tal diya tha tumhe hamara eight line to tal diya tha tumhe pani nahi that's why we always have this kind of uh, so, what you need concept virtual model selected model and service use and manufacture so these are the two things where actually we think we and have to look at our product quality or something like that Manufacturing, manufacturing we say say this kind of uh, what you call uh, uh, quality control chart and everything or uh, tqm and everything mm. however this is not good enough for uh, present day manufacturing because we are going for very short life cycle and uh, the customer needs are very agile so you have to respond in a very short time so in that case we have to think about uh, the quality in a different way so uh, we have a, a quality view that we call systems view of product development where we actually think about these systems say customer need system questionnaire system cad system optimization system and prototyping system and then it is linked to our manufacturing and the whole thing is actually coordinated by product development team so the quality of product actually uh, bonds here so we have to carry out this in in the manufacturing so how to elucidate uh, elucidate your your product quality according to the customer needs that's a very important issue nowadays one of the answer could be kano model why i will i will show you some of uh, very few examples uh, we are working hard on this issue uh, uh, before i jump to the examples let me explain what is kano model kano model actually has two continuum one is satisfaction axis vertical and the other is your function axis uh, this part shows your satisfaction satisfaction you are satisfied this part shows that you are not at all satisfied this part shows that your function is present and this part shows that your function is absent so within this continuum kano uh, and his colleague they say that there are five qualities of product uh the number one is must be quality must be quality means when this quality is absent you are very unhappy but when it is present it's not a big deal you are not so much happy something like that and in japanese we call it atari mai it must be there something like that say for example you uh, every morning you wake up and you take your breakfast what's the big deal but if you don't take your breakfast you are very hungry and unhappy something like that so one dimensional quality is the second quality which means if it is not there you are unhappy if it is there with the degree of its functionality you are very happy for example uh, the price of a product if the price is very high uh, you don't like it If the price is low, and as much as it is cheap, your satisfaction level goes up. So this is one. This is one dimensional. The attractive quality means you never expected it, but it's there. In other words, they call it delight. You, you, you. That means if it is not, if it is not there, you are not unhappy. If it is there, you are very happy. So it was. Uh, uh, pleasant surprise for you indifferent means uh, uh, if it is there or not there it doesn't matter to you a reverse means uh, if it is there you are unhappy and uh, if it is not there you are happy for example you are working in a in a, in a very confidential area so if your mobile has a camera means you can take out some of the information so in that case that mobile camera is reverse quality for you if if 
the camera is there, you cannot use the mobile. If the camera is not there, you can use the mobile, something like that. So this way, Kano and his more colleagues uh, divide uh, five qualities of a product. So if you know from the beginning that these are my indifferent qualities, you can discard those from the very beginning. If you think that, oh, this is your uh, must be quality, then you must be very careful about it. You have to put a lot of effort in order to uh, check the quality of that and as well as make it uh, cheaper, uh, user friendly and so on. Uh, so, so this is a very good, uh, what I say, uh, semantic annotation by which your whole process or, of manufacturing or product development, you can do it very efficiently. So how it can help us? There are plenty of examples if you go to the literature. Uh, I just give you some of the examples that we are doing now. Uh, we are trying to see uh, the pattern of product development for highly customized and solve small volume product or something like that. This would be a challenge for Bangladesh because as you know, uh, garments industry in, in your country, uh, you export a lot. Nowadays, the garments uh, big uh, buyers, they are asking Bangladeshi producers to produce, say, every after one month, new design or something like that. And unfortunately, the supply chain is, doesn't respond in that way. So uh, that's why we, we, we need we started studying uh, the behavior of product development as well as quality uh, for highly customized low volume with a very short uh, life cycle. So here is an example. For example, one uh, uh, customer wants a coffee mug with three, uh, what do you call? three ring handle. So this coffee mug you will never find in the market, right? Have you seen anybody? No, I, I don't think so. So this is a very highly customized product that one customer is uh, uh, saying. And then we designed it using computer aided design software. And finally using a 3D printer, we printed it. So this, this product, uh, why we bothered about this three ring handle? Because we had some communication with the uh, uh, customer using Kano model. We try to understand whether this three ring is actually a must be quality or one dimensional or reverse or something like that. And we found that it is a must be quality. So we put a lot of effort to create the exact size that uh, the customer wants or something like that. For example, if you see the sizes of the ring are a little bit different, something like that. This was a must be. If, if this is not there, the customer is not going to accept your product. So this is the quality uh, that the customer requires. And we had to respond to that. However, if we could take out one of one of the ring or two of the rings, we might make it more cheaper and our manufacturing or 3D printing would be much better. So this is this is something that is new. We, we, we see that kind of model is actually helping us. The other thing uh, is actually uh, sustainability. As you know, the United Nations has declared their SDG goals. So there are 17 goals, right? So one of the goal is uh, goal number 12. And the goal number 12 is actually very important for us, those who are in manufacturing or industrial engineering or engineering management. It says there's 
responsible consumption and production. That means we do not have any barrier between these. So we must have to think the way customer wants and the customer has to understand what uh, we can offer and we cannot or something like that. So, uh, in, so this is giving us a new way of thinking about the sustainable manufacturing or something. So, however, this is an idea, but if we would like to implement this idea, we need some uh, concrete engineering tools or mechanisms to do that. So what we do, we actually declare three efficiencies. One is we call material efficiencies. The other is energy efficiency. The other is production efficiency. So in the material efficiency, we should bother about uh, reducing materials using uh, eco materials, biodegradable materials, or even making the product lightweight. On the other hand, in the energy efficiency, we should think about reducing energy uses during production, as well as increasing renewable energy uh, during the production. The other is product efficiency. That means the product must have to fulfill the requirements of, of the customer. So they the desired product function. And even though the uh, functions are there, customer must has to be satisfied by them. So, uh, so these are actually give us some indicator, uh, mathematical formulation by which we can actually quantify those things and try to see how much we could uh, make our whole process. Let me show an example. Uh, this is a uh, work did by uh, one of my students recently. Now he's working for NEC. Uh, he joined uh, NEC. So what he did, he asked many, uh, many high school students that okay, we have a 3D printer, we can make anything you like. Tell us about what you want. So uh, one of the example is that the student want a book holder. So this is the illustration of the book holder uh, the student gave us. So if I follow the instruction of the student, I actually end up with this computer-aided design model. And finally, using 3D printer, I, I make this one. So this is exactly what uh, the customer is asking me to do. However, I can make a trick. I can come back to Kano model and I can say, okay, uh, tell me about your uh, book support. There is a support, right, to hold a book. So this is the support. And there is a holder here. So I can ask uh, uh, the customer, uh, do you mind if I change the design of your, of your, uh, what do you call, the holder? If they say that, no, no, you can change it. That means it is an indifferent uh, quality. The design of, uh, design of uh, the, book uh, rest is an indifferent uh, quality for, for her or him. Again, if I, I, if I say this is a stopper where your actually book is stopped and it gives that stability, it doesn't slip. Do you mind if I change the design of, of this one? He said, no, 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 it's okay, you can. However, I need this stopper, but you can change the design as you wish something like that. So based on that, uh, we said that, okay, we will provide you this design to you, 
this product to you uh, instead of what what you asked us to give you at the beginning or something. So this way, what we did, we actually identified some of the things are in different quality of this product. And uh, since it is indifferent, we try to minimize material uses over there. And if we reduce the material uses, we will be able to reduce the production time as well as the price or something like that. So that means it, it really help us to make the product more sustainable. And end of the day, the user is not unhappy. So uh, the thing that we have learned is something like this. That uh, book rest and handle are must be, but the design of book rest and handle are indifferent. And the price is one dimensional. The, the uh, product, the user don't want to give enough money to buy this one. So based, so we could, we could come to this conclusion based on Kanoa. Otherwise we couldn't. At the end of the day, we, we, we have this uh, final product. Though the uh, customer was asking for this one. So this way, uh, a Kano model help us to create, understand the quality of the product and work on those quality part to make it more uh, sustainable. So in the conclusion, what I would like to say to you is that Kano model is a pragmatic tool to maintain customer driven quality in the product, of course. The model is even more relevant when we want to satisfy uh, SDG. So by this, I would like to say thank you very much for listening. And if you, uh, if you have any question, you are welcome. Thank you, Chair. Okay, thanks, uh, Professor Shori Fulda, for your nice uh, presentation. And I think uh, our Professor Dr. Mamun Rashid, uh, he also uh, did his PhD under you and you work on this model as well. And uh, now its floor is open. So uh, if anyone likes to ask a question, um, can ask a question. Uh, I cannot hear. Yeah, could you please say a little bit loudly because uh, we could not hear. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, uh, uh, good afternoon, Mr. Sharifullah. I am Nafis Mahmoud. Uh, actually, uh, I'm basically a pharmacist, but I used to work at uh, several hospitals. Uh, I'm very much uh, interested about uh, this model. Hello? Yeah, please go ahead. Actually, um, I used to work at... Um, mainly in a uh, service oriented uh, industry like hospitals. Uh, yeah. so, uh, in that case, I found it, uh, your model is uh, um, very much interested about uh, uh, actually for the service oriented uh, for, uh, quality assurance. Uh, for example, like uh, for a patient, uh, if I uh, want, to, uh, want to have a uh, increase our quality about the patient uh, uh, treatment or patient satisfaction. So in that yeah. I found that uh, this model has been uh, totally uh, totally different, and uh, it it reflect one's individuals um, individuals things. Uh, for an example like that, I mean, obviously, I mean, uh, besides of the price, the quality of the treatment, and uh, the behavior of the uh, doctors, and the behavior of the other staffs uh, in the hospitals, uh, we can uh, finally uh, have a, a quality assurance through a patient questionnaire um, model. For example, like that, if we provide a uh, model, uh, I mean, if we provide a questionnaire uh, papers to the patient after the treatment or after uh, he or she discharged from the hospital, uh, uh, so in that case, uh, uh, you, you show your uh, slide 
in uh, five uh, the dependency model. Can, can I have the page, please? This one. This one. Okay, uh, we have just a few minutes left, so could you? Okay. Uh, have... Apni apnar service ke ekta product isha be chinta korle apnar service er service er bitore ki ki function sase she function ta ke apni quantify korte parben classify korte parben kano model di kono shubida na. I I want to know uh, about the one dimensional quality. It's uh, not uh, very uh, clear about I mean, uh, to me that. Uh, खरचारीचे तक कि क्वेश्चन Actually, we ask two questions for each function. Okay, when the function is present, when function is absent. So it can be used in service industry, and it has been has been it has been using in service industry for long in Japan. Okay. okay. So you can you if if you just send me uh, uh, exactly what you want, I can create a questionnaire for you. In that case, you will be able to know uh, what are the problems in your service that you have provided. Of course, of course, everything you can. A service is nothing but a product, intangible product, right? so it has some functions right so it can be it can be easily adopted there there will be no problem it can be used in in house it can be used in other places for example japan society of mechanical engineering they are asking us what kind of research we should do in the future what is the must be research what is the one dimensional research what is the attractive research what is the indifferent research what research we should not do and they they find out these results using kano model so it can be used anywhere there is no problem okay thank you sir thank you so much i'm sir after i am mamuru sarkas ke niye jabo sir ami oboshoi ami sure in in bangladesh dr mamuru rashid is the head of the department of kano model so you ask him Once Dr. Mamuni is failed, you ask me. Sure, he is my teacher, so definitely I'll ask him first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, so you go, you ask him. He is the he is the number one man in Kanamodi. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks uh, for a live interaction, interactive session. Uh, so, and uh, as uh, Professor Shirfulla mentioned, uh, you can communicate with our Dr. Mamuni Rashid, host of the symposium. And he also did his PhD in the Kano model, I think. Uh, anyway, so it's time is now three fourteen, and uh, so to, uh, we are going to conclude. And thanks again to Professor Shervulla for attending from Japan at this uh, symposium. Okay, thanks a lot. It was my pleasure. Thank you so much. Please continue this kind of thing and uh, work for Bangladesh. Okay. It's my thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. No problem. Yes, yeah, sir. क्रेस्ट आसे सर आरो किसो आसे सर आमी पाठाय दिबो सर आपनर भाषा आसे ओके थैंक यू अच्छा अच्छा ए पाठाय दिबो सर क्रेस्ट आसे एक क्लास सर ओके आई स्टॉप दिस है जी सर अच्छा डॉक्टर मामुन थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू डॉक्टर मामुन ये हमारे प्रोफेसर मुर्शिद हां प्लीज सेशन से हिसाब से चलान आमी एकटा लेक्चर जे आइंटरप्रेटर आसे दिए थी अच्छा अच्छा 
আচ্ছা আমি আমাদের এখানে শামসুদ্দিন প্রিভিয়াস সেশন চেয়ার প্রফেসর শামসুদ্দিন স্যার আর ইউ देयर স্যার আমি আসি ও আচ্ছা কিন্তু আমাদের প্রফেসর মোরশেদ সামহা উনি মিস করছেন আর কি ওনার মানে সকাল হয়ে যায় উনি তো এখন এই মুহূর্তে ইউকে তে আছেন আর কি এখন টাইমে হয়তো কোনো কিছু ই হইছে এনিওয়ে তো আমরা পরের রীতি চলে যাচ্ছে কি সো উই আর মুভিং অন টু आवर নেক্সট কিনোট ইজ বাই ডক্টর মাউনুর রশিদ তো প্রফেসর শামসুদ্দিন ইফ ইউ হ্যাভ টাইম ইউ ক্যান কন্টিনিউ অ্যাজ এ সেশন চেয়ার ফর দিস কিনোট ইজ ইট ওকে স্যার আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে আমি তো মামুনের অত বড় ইন্ট্রোডাকশন আমার দেওয়ার মতো ইনফরমেশন তো মুক্ত আমার হাতে নাই मामुन सम्पर्केशन समय चेस्टाजिटे प्रेक्षपट आ मान उन्नति आवश्यक गुणगत मान संश्लिष्ट प्रेक्षेटिफिकेशन कर क्षेत्रीन इनफर्माल भाव चलते चलते आईन पास है चेस्टा करते 
আমেরিকান পেট্রোলিয়াম ইনস্টিটিউট স্ট্যান্ডার্ড নিয়ে তো সেটাও আলটিমেটলি কিন্তু ফ্রেমে নাই এই এই আন্তর্জাতিক সংস্থাগুলোর যে স্ট্যান্ডার্ড এগুলোকে মেইনটেইন করবে কে এগুলোকে মেইনটেইন করার জন্য কোনো নাই তো এর জন্য गवर्नमेंट একটা ল করতেছে আপনারা সবাই জানেন ল হচ্ছে এনফোর্সেবল ল मींस এনফোর্সেবল কিন্তু স্ট্যান্ডার্ডগুলো কিন্তু এনফোর্সেবল না তো যখন এই गवर्नमेंट এই রেগুলেটরি বডি করতেছে এবং তাদের মাধ্যমে কন্ট্রোল করতে পারে যে সেই জিনিসটা আমরা এখানে দেখব उन्नीसिल मान गठन दायित्व कार्यवल कर्मचारी नियोग दस थ बारो गिंग बोर्ड गठन कार्यवल धारा तरह जुणगत मान दिवस रेजिस्ट्रेशन करते गवर्नमेंट मान रेगुलेटर कंट्रोल करते गवर्नमेंट निबंधन बिल करते परिदर्शन जरा देखा ने गवर्नमेंट करतेबेदन दी आईनेसना प्रविधान कथा तहबिल कथा गुणगत मान जो क्वालिटी अर्थ एम एक गुणगत मान परिचाल नियंत्रण लक्ष्य सुसमित कार्यक्रम जेम आई एस नाइन थाउजेंड वन इत्यादि सम्पर्क बला आज गुणागुण वैशिष्ट निर्देशिका जहां प्रयोग उद्देश्य पूर्ण उपयुक्त है ठीक स्वीकृत पक्ष मर्मे लिखित प्रत्यन पत्र प्रदान कर प्रक्रिया मान विचारे निर्दिष्टकृत सकल शर्त पूरण करेक्शन आरोप 
অত কোন পণ্যের নকশা পণ্য প্রক্রিয়া স্থাপনা পরীক্ষা করা সুনির্দিষ্ট শর্তাবলীর পেশাগত দক্ষতা ও সাধারণ বিচার যে সাদৃশ্য নিরূপণ একটিডেশন অত কোন ক্ষমতাপ্রাপ্ত প্রতিষ্ঠান কর্তৃক কোন সংস্থা বা ব্যক্তি বিশেষকে সুনির্দিষ্ট কোন কর্ম সম্পাদনের উপযুক্ত মনে স্বীকৃত প্রদানের কার্য বলি এখানে ব্যাখ্যা দেওয়া আছে এই একটিডেশনের বাংলাদেশ একটিডেশনের পরিধিতে এই যা ওয়ার্ডটা কিন্তু আইনে নাই এটা আমি ঢোকানোর জন্য প্রস্তাব দিব যা আন্তর্জাতিক ল্যাবরেটরি একটিডেশন সংস্থা আইলেক এই আইলেক কিন্তু অনেকগুলো ইন্টারন্যাশনাল বডির একটা ফরাম আপনারা ওয়েবসাইটও সার্চ দিতে পারেন ওয়েবসাইট থেকে যেটা নেওয়া ইন্টারন্যাশনাল একটিডেশন ফরাম আছে ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ইলেকট্রো টেকনিক্যাল কমিশন আইটিসি তারপরে ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ফেডারেশন অফ ক্লিনিক্যাল কেমিস্ট্রি অ্যান্ড ল্যাবরেটরি মেডিসিন আইএফসিসি ইন্টারন্যাশনাল হালাল একটিডেশন ফরাম ইন্টারন্যাশনাল অর্গানাইজেশন ফর স্ট্যান্ডার্ডাইজেশন আইএসও যেটা আইএসও এই আইলেক কিন্তু সবগুলার একটা টপ বডি সবগুলাকেই বলা যায় যে একটা অ্যাসোসিয়েশন সবগুলা ইন্টারন্যাশনাল বডির একটা অ্যাসোসিয়েশন হলো আইলেক তারপরে ও আই এম এর ইন্টারন্যাশনাল অর্গানাইজেশন অফ লিগেল মেট্রোলজি ইন্টারন্যাশনাল টেলিকমিউনিকেশন ইউনিয়ন আইটিইউ তারপরে জয়েন্ট কমিটি ফর গাইড ইন মেট্রোলজি জে সি জি এম জয়েন্ট কমিটি অফ ট্রেসেবিলিটি ইন ল্যাবরেটরি মেডিসিন ইন্টারন্যাশনাল নেটওয়ার্ক অন কোয়ালিটি ইনফ্রাস্ট্রাকচার ইউনাইটেড নেশন ইন্ডাস্ট্রিয়াল ডেভেলপমেন্ট অর্গানাইজেশন ইউ এন আইডিও इनफर्माल पार्टनार ए लिया हिसाब से आपनी जो संस्था प्रतिनिधि हिसाब से এই স্ট্যান্ডার্ড বা এই একটিডেশন আইএসও এর যে শুধু আইএসও না যত ধরনের স্ট্যান্ডার্ড আছে সেই স্ট্যান্ডার্ড গুলোকে এই এই লটাকে কভার করবে ফ্রেমে নিয়ে আসবে এরপরে জাতীয় গুণগত মান কাঠামো অবকাঠামো নিয়ে এখানে ডেফিনিশন বলা আছে যে অর্থ মান প্রমিতকরণ পরিমাপ বিজ্ঞান বৈজ্ঞানিক শিল্প ভিত্তিক আইনি একটিডেশন সাদৃশ্য নিরূপণ সেবা সমূহ পরিদর্শন পরীক্ষণ উৎপাদিত দ্রব্য ও পদ্ধতি সার্টিফিকেশন প্রতিষ্ঠা ও বাস্তবায়ন করিতে প্রয়োজনীয় প্রাতিষ্ঠানিক পরিকাঠামো সরকারি ও বেসরকারি সমষ্টি যাহাতে এই মর্মের গ্রহণযোগ্যতা প্রমাণ দেয় যে কর্তৃপক্ষ কারিগরি নিয়ন্ত্রণ অথবা বাজারে চুক্তিভিত্তিক বা অনুমোদিত চাহিদা মাপিক পূর্ব নির্ধারিত বাধ্য বাধ্যকতা সমূহ পূরণের সকল পণ্য ও সেবা সক্ষম তারপরে টেকনিক্যাল রেগুলেশন সম্পর্কে আইনের একটা ব্যাখ্যা ডিফিনিশন দেওয়া আছে অর্থাৎ এমন একটি দলিল যাতে বাধ্যতামূলক ভাবে প্রয়োগযোগ্য এমনি রেগুলেশন তো যখন টেকনিক্যাল বাধ্যতামূলক যেমন বিল্ডিং কোড বাধ্যতামূলক যেটা আইনে পড়ে গেছে এখানে আন্ডারে যখন রেগুলেশন হয়ে যাবে তখন এগুলা ফলো করতে উৎপাদন পদ্ধতির জন্য পরিভাষা প্রতীক মরকীকরণ চিহ্নিতকরণ লেভেলিং সংযোজন সংক্রান্ত বাধ্যবাধকরণ সহ অন্তর্ভুক্ত উক্ত সিঙ্গাপুর আমাদের ল্যাব গুলাকে যদি তারা স্বীকৃতি দেয় তাদের ল্যাব গুলাকে আমরা স্বীকৃতি দেই তখন নিজেদের মধ্যে মিউচুয়াল একটা ইন্টারন্যাশনাল রূপ পাবে গ্লোবালাইজেশন রূপ পাবে এবং এইভাবে ব্যবসা বাণিজ্য চলতে থাকবে যেটা ডাব্লিউটিও তে খুব বলে দেওয়া আছে সেনেটারি शेष काउन्सिल संस्था से ढाकिल निर्वाह चेयरमैन चार जन मन हमने बोध एक आईन टाइम ठीक करनी मान काउंसिल 
মানে যে পাঁচজন পার্মানেন্ট চাকরি করবে তারা কাউন্সিল আর যে गवर्नमेंटের সবাই যেখানে থাকবে মিনিস্টার সহ সেটা गवर्निंग বডি আসলে এটা বলতে চেঞ্জ হয়ে যাবে আমরা যেটা দেখি বিআইটি কাউন্সিল বা गवर्निंग বডি সেটাতে কিন্তু যারা ইন্টারনাল তারা হচ্ছে गवर्निंग বডি আর যেটা ওভারঅল সবগুলোকে কন্ট্রোল করে সেটা কাউন্সিল অতএব আমার মনে হয় এখানে আইনটা একটু আমার মনে হয় যে সব মন্ত্রণালয় যেহেতু কোয়ালিটির সাথে জড়িত অতএব এইটাই হবে কাউন্সিল ওইটা হওয়ার কথা गवर्निंग বডি বা বোর্ড আমার মনে হয় এখানে একটা প্রস্তাব পাঠানো হবে যে হয়তো আমি পাঠাবো আসসালামু আলাইকুম কি অবস্থা আপনাদের একটা মতামত আছে যে এটা ঠিক বলছি কিনা আমি এরপরে কথা হলো তোরে আমি আবার দিতে কইছিলাম কিসের জন্য गवर्निंग বডি হ্যাঁ ওইটা কিসের জন্য বলছিলাম মানে আগে একবার বাদ দিতে বললাম কিসের জন্য পুরস্কার কিভাবে হবে গুণগত মান যারা করবে তাদেরকে কিভাবে কন্ট্রোল করা হবে শুধু এটাই কইছিলাম মেসেজ গুলো তো পড়িস নাই তুই মোবাইল ফাটা ঠিক আছে লিখতে আসতেছ না কিন্তু পড়ার সমস্যা তো হওয়ার কথা না আমি তোরে কইছিলাম ওই রফিকুজ্জামান দিমন এই আইডিতে ট্যাগ না দিয়ে রফিক দিমন আইডিতে ট্যাগ দাও তো এরাই তোরে আমি কইছিলাম তোর টাইম টু ইন দা প্লিজ আমি আমি কইছি না আউট করে দে निबंधन बिल की आईन टाइम बड़ कथा आईन फ्रेम ठीक है शुद्ध मन हम काउंसिल से गवर्निंग बोर्ड गवर्निंग कारण आ स्टैंडार्डारे प्रकृत व्यक्ति खुजे पा जाए मालयिया मिनिस्ट्री इनफ्रास्ट्रकचारिटी आ थैंक यू सर आपनारे कमेंटर साथ
সামনে ভাষণ দিছে সাথে কিন্তু ও একজন ডাক্তার ছিলেন যিনি যিনি হলো যে কোভিড কমিটির চেয়ারম্যান ডাক্তার সাথে থাকাতে প্রাইম মিনিস্টারের বক্তৃতাটার একটা গ্রহণযোগ্যতা জনগণের কাছে ছিল তো এই এই জিনিসটা কিভাবে মানে কোয়ালিটি যারা জানে তারা কিভাবে এই পুরা প্রসেসের সাথে ইনভলভ থাকবে সেই জিনিসটাও কোথাও তুমি একটু প্যাস দিয়ে ঢুকাই দিতে পারো কি না দেখো আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर खुबी कम हो ग भेटे <laughs> हायदार आलि विश्वास खुला इनिटी समस्या नहीं जयनिंगेरिम he is always with, uh, with us with uh, bim along with our iom society bangladesh chapter so first of all i would like to thank every uh, everybody all the participants uh, to joining this symposium it is a very interactive sessions and the topics is actually very important from uh, the present situation quality actually very important so our uh, next speaker is dr arm harna rashid harna rashid actually uh, is an associate professor of mechanical and production engineering at iut gazipur dhaka and he earned his phd uh, from dublin city university uk and bsc in mechanical engineering from buet bangladesh especially his research activities include the ergonomics engineering design management operation research and even renewable energy presently dr harun is acting as honorary general secretary of iom society bangladesh chapter and i am very much happy to introduce dr harun and now i would like to request dr harun to present his keynote speech today on the topics ergonomics for quality management so please dr harun start your presentation and i hope i hope everybody will join everybody will uh, interact after his uh, talking so thank you and i would like to take the uh, uh, opportunity to follow uh, his speeches professor harun Uh, thanks uh, professor hyder dibishesh and for your nice introduction and assalamu alaikum to everyone uh, and special mention to dg bim uh, 
uh, director of BIM, uh, Mr. Badal and Dr. Parvin, and our respected uh, keynote speaker, Professor Sharifullah, Professor Shamsin Ahmed, and other keynote speaker, and other industry from industry. We have some participants, and also those who are participating in this uh, symposium. And uh, also the Dr. Mamunur Rashid, who is the host of this uh, symposium. So here today I'm going to this uh, my talk about ergonomics for quality management. So I'm just sharing the slides now. Okay. Okay, so it is uh, the ergonomics for quality management. Uh, my name is Dr. Aram Harushid, uh, Associate Professor, Department of Mechanical Production Engineering in Islamic University Technology, IUT, in Gajipur, Bangladesh. Uh, uh, just one correction to Professor Haider Tibishash. Uh, I got my PhD from Dublin City University, and it is uh, the Republic of Ireland. So, so many people Ireland. mistaken as a part of UK, but there is another part, Northern Ireland. So that is under UK. Okay, anyway, that's uh, right. So here, um, and this is uh, our symposium. And so here, uh, here today, uh, our symposium, it's about the quality management. So here are some definition of the quality management that we can get it from our prominent textbook. So the quality can be quantified as follows. So there's a equation is given that is Q equal to P divided by, and Q is for quality and P is for performance and E is for extension, uh, expectation. So when uh, our performance is greater than uh, our expectation, then we can say, the customer will say it is a very good quality. And I, if, uh, in our earlier keynotes, Professor Yuhullah, he also mentioned about uh, this thing, about say how the customer will feel and how, when it will be delight for him. And in generally, um, we can also have other definition. This quality means fitness uh, for use and quality is inversely proportional to variability. So when there is less variability in our production system, we can say there is a good quality and uh, it should fit for work and it should have, we have certain standard, it should meet that standard. And there's a definition. So we uh, talked about the different quality standard and uh, Dr. Mamun, he mentioned about the quality council in Bangladesh uh, as well. We have several uh, ISO standard certification uh, going on and many of the companies they have taken the certification. So here in the, according to the ISO 9000, it's quality as the degree to which a set of inherent characteristics fulfills requirement. So here so there should be some inherent characteristics that should fulfill the requirement that is ISO 9000 definition. And the uh, American Society of Quality, they say that the uh, definition of the quality may be subject to different environment situation. So based on different things, uh, it may be, it's, uh, definition may be a little bit uh, different, but anyway, it should, uh, it, basically it should meet the requirement. And then if it expects, exceed the expectation, then we can uh, have that it has a good quality product. And also say so there may be, sometimes it may be some requirement to fulfill, but at the same time, there are other aspects. And uh, those will be, if it is uh, create a lasting impact on the, customer, then we can say that it is a very, very good quality product. And that scenario, we come, another thing we'll discuss uh, soon, that is the ergonomics and uh, the management of the quality. So if there, there's a management, we, uh, the uh, definition of the management is a process of planning, decision making, organizing, leading, motivation and controlling the human resources, financial, physical, and information resource of an organization to reach its goal efficiently and effectively. So that is the definition of our management. And in the quality management, it will be the task of the management system to overseeing all the activities and tasks that must be accomplished to maintain a desired level of excellence. So it may include like a quality policy and then they should uh, monitor uh, control about how creating and implementing the quality planning assurance. And uh, then it, it, during the 1980s, there are another uh, terminology comes up that is called uh, total quality management. So in the total quality management, in, it is uh, encompasses the whole organization. Previously, we think that, okay, quality control, okay, there is a quality control department is there, or there are some engineers and other staff are there, okay, they will just look after the quality. 
But then in the 1980s, uh, the, we have come across this total quality management. So here it says that it is a long-term success through the customer satisfaction and in a total quality management effort, all members of an organization participate in improving process, products, services, and the culture in which they work. So the total quality management, it is a broader topic. And here they want to encompass uh, almost everyone in the system for the total quality management. So here, and then become the things that is called the innovation. So innovation, it may be uh, something new. It may be a new original or improved that creates value. So here it may be new or it may be original or it may be some improved from other aspect. So here in the quality management or improving the quality, uh, we have seen the different Six Sigma with the statistical process control method and other things are there. And here, uh, okay, just, Okay, so here uh, comes the ergonomics thing. So ergonomics uh, in the definition of the International Ergonomics Association, the ergonomic is the science of work, is derived from the Greek argon, that is work, and then uh, nomos, that is the laws. So ergonomics is another name is the human factors. So it is the scientific discipline concerned with the understanding of the interaction among humans and other elements of the system. So human and the other elements of the system. And the profession that applies theory, principle, data, and methods to design in order to optimize human all being um, and overall system performance. So here, the ergonomics will try to uh, take up the different uh, principle theory from different multidisciplinary aspect. It is the mathematical things are there. There are the psychological things there. Sociological aspects are there. Uh, engineering, mechanical engineering things are there. Electrical engineering things are there. So all these things combined. We want to, our priority is two. One is uh, there's two things we have to, to accomplish. That is the well-being of the human being, those who are working, those who are involved with the system, the human beings, and also the perf improve the overall system performance. So here system performance, it may be the productivity, it may be the quality, it may be the other aspect. So here, so how come ergonomics uh, related, could be related with the quality improvement or we can say the quality uh, management? And so here it says that uh, in the, the, for the principle, it encompasses the quality of life, that is the life of the people that involve. And uh, when the people, those who are involved in the uh, production process or manufacturing something, so if they have a feel, uh, they have a focused, they have a focused activity, they can have a uh, concentration focus and they are uh, in good health, uh, so that will only that can that can produce the best quality of product. So, so here the ergonomics come into the play. So when we can have a higher quality, better quality, or the quality we don't have, we, do, we only have to have lesser variance variability. So when it could be ensures when the people those who are involved in the work they can have a better they have a better concentration and they can take up the work properly and we can reduce the ergonomic risk factor so in that case uh, they can we can expect there will be a good quality of product so it may be sometimes you may not directly relate with the quality but uh, if you go take up the holistic approach in that case you can see that it is a, it has a uh, take on the quality of the program so here some of the risk factors are like posture they have then so what uh, how the people are working, what is the sitting position, uh, how they're working, and uh, during the, there's a uh, ergonomics for, uh, de dedicated for the design of the work, machineries and other things. So here, there should be important that the interface between human and the machine, they are designed accordingly to the aspect of the human beings. What is their height? What is their uh, reach? So, and what may be the health hazard? What may be the safety hazard? All this should be, considered and designing thing what is the force requirement so can it be possible for that person to impart that force or is it a highly repeated one can we break the repetition and what is the visibility so if he's doing the work what is the visibility lighting other things are there it is it okay for him so here it will ensure that he's uh, uh, the postures are correct so that he will have lesser pains and other health hazard and also it will the other aspect we will consider that will ensure that uh, he has more concentration, concentration and better, uh, he can produce the better quality product. 
So here in the industry, uh, they can, recently, other than the different guidelines we have, what should be the appropriate posture and other things. So there's a, now there is a new front here, is there? And here it's called the adjustable desk. And uh, here some works are going on in different parts of the world. Uh, Dr. Mark Brandon, director of Texas A&M's Ergonomics Center, and uh, he's working on such a simple desk. And there, he also tried to find out what would be the uh, if individual person to monitor what are the different parameters of the individual person, person, and suggest the ergonomic position, ergonomic desk height, length, etc., for that specific per person. But in general, what we do is statistically we survey and anthropometric data. We uh, design accordingly to a specific uh, population. We go for that one. And he suggests uh, one thing that is a 2082 rule that is uh, sit 20 minutes, stand 80 minutes, and walk two minutes. So to ensure that one, if we can have the, the person, the people, those who are working in the uh, manufacturing plant, if they can have an adjustable desk, so we can ensure this application that they can sit for 20 minutes with a proper height chair and proper ergonomic chair, and then they will be, they can adjust that and it will be stand working on standing, and maybe there should be, there should be some break out there. So this is the this is working and uh, in IoT, uh, you know, one of my research group, they're working on the garments factory, what they can uh, make up Considering the scenario of Bangladesh, uh, can they make up an adjustable desk for the uh, workers there, working there? So here, uh, they're considering two aspects. One is that it will be like, uh, as usual, the adjustable desk. The other, like it will be, there will be mechanism. They can adjust it uh, when they sit and then when they want, they can move up the table and go for it. And the other part they are thinking, uh, considering, that is uh, whether they will have the multiple number of desks the one does, it will be fixed like a, not that variably, but it will be just one day, they will see it and another desk, it will be for in the standing position. So the different staff or worker, those who are working, they can alternate between this uh, sitting level desk and the standing level desk. But it will be better if you can have the adjustable one, but considering the economy, uh, they are considering that option. And at the moment they are on the design phase and uh, collection of the data and uh, then when they compete, they definitely will share in their result and some other talk. So here, this is a figure. So what maybe look like this uh, adjustable say office setting, not in the industry setting. It says uh, this one, say adjustable desk is there. And uh, now with another phenomena we have that is called the industry four. So we have other are three industrial revelation and then now we come to the fourth industrial revelation and in the fourth industrial revolution, it is all about the using the connectivity through the artificial intelligence and machine learning and other things and it is uh, the next one will be the individualization of things so the ergonomics you know, we can uh, individualize the thing and then we say that if the, we can have a, the person those who are working in the industry we can have them less fatigue and proper health proper posture and design the interface machine, and then it should be helpful for, at the end of the day, our ergonomics. So I think I have reached that time, so I will just stop here. Uh, there are some other things like sustainability and other things. And uh, the, the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, so we have to look after the health condition of the people as well. So here, now some solution comes up, like there's a glass booth or and flexi, flexi glass, different glass, uh, there's a divider and people are working in the industry. So this kind of thing. So the COVID-19 uh, next, uh, after the COVID-19 scenario, so how the people can safely work at home, that is also uh, an ergonomically how we can design this scenario so that there's no suffocation, but at the same time, we can maintain the, the health, uh, reducing the health hazard. So there will be other things and so I will actually uh, end up my talk here. Uh, thanks for listening. Thank you. Um, Thank you, Dr. Harun, for this nice presentation. I think it is very important for the quality management. Agronomic is actually very much related to this topic. So uh, I think the time is over due, but we can have some questions, interactive questions. If you have some questions from audience, please ask the questions. Uh, 
থ্যাংক ইউ ডক্টর হারুন রশিদ বাংলাদেশে কি বায়োমেট্রিক ডেটা আছে না কোনটা স্যার বাংলাদেশের সরকারি ভাবে বাংলাদেশের মানুষের উপরে যে বায়োমেট্রিক ডেটা তৈরি করা হয় মানুষের হাইটের উপরে তারপরে তার ইয়ের উপরে আমাদের আমাদের এটা ঠিক ওইভাবে হয় না তো আমরা ওইভাবে করি জাস্ট একটা যে কোনো একটা স্পেসিফিক লোকেশনে বা ফ্যাক্টরির কিছু স্যাম্পল নিয়ে ওইটার উপর বেসড করে আর ওইটা আমরাই করি আমি একটু একটু অ্যাড করি স্যার এর প্রশ্নের সাথে স্যার আমাদের দেশে আসলে এই ডেটাটা নাই আমরা বিভিন্ন ইউনিভার্সিটিতে আমরা আগোনমিক্স এর উপর বাংলাদেশ আসলে এই সাবজেক্টে খুব নতুন 1995 করা বাংলাদেশে আমি কিছু বলতে চাচ্ছিলাম মানে অনুমতি দিলে স্যার আমি তাহিদ আমিন সজীব আমি ইন্ডাস্ট্রিয়াল ম্যানেজমেন্টে আছি বিআইএম এ ঢাকা ক্যাম্পাসে তো স্যার আমার একটা প্রশ্ন হচ্ছে যে আমরা অনেক স্ট্যান্ডার্ড স্ট্যান্ডার্ডের কথা বলছি আমরা প্রোডাকশনের স্ট্যান্ডার্ডের কথা বলছি আমরা মানে মার্কেটিং এর স্ট্যান্ডার্ডের কথা বলছি আমরা মানে বেশ কিছু জ্ঞান গর্ভ আলোচনা শুনলাম কিন্তু স্যার একটা বিষয় আমার কাছে সব সময় মনে হয় যে আসলে বাংলাদেশে কি এরকম কোন স্ট্যান্ডার্ড তৈরি করা সম্ভব যে একজন গ্রাজুয়েট ইঞ্জিনিয়ার অথবা একজন গ্রাজুয়েট যদি তার রেলিভেন্ট ইন্ডাস্ট্রিতে কাজ করে মানে যে সাবজেক্টে সে পড়েছে সেই সাবজেক্টের সাথে রেলিভেন্ট কোন ইন্ডাস্ট্রিতে কাজ করে তাহলে তার মিনিমাম ওয়েজ বা কোন একটা পলিটেকনিক স্টুডেন্ট যারা ডিপ্লোমা ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং করে তাদের জন্য তাদের রেলিভেন্ট ইন্ডাস্ট্রিতে কোন মিনিমাম ওয়েজ কারণ কিছুদিন আগেও আমরা আমাদের প্রাক্তন অর্থমন্ত্রীর কাছে শুনছিলাম যে সাংবাদিকদের জন্য একটা ওয়েজ বোর্ড গঠন করা হবে তাদের একটা মিনিমাম ওয়েজ এর একটা বিষয় চলে আসে যে অনেক সাংবাদিক বেতন কম পাচ্ছে বা ঠিক মতো পাচ্ছে না যেটাই বলি না কেন সেটা কি আমার প্রশ্ন এটাই ছিল আমি 
আচ্ছা আমাদের ওকে আই থিং এ ফিউ অফ দা কোশ্চেন অন দা চ্যাট বক্স এন্ড देयर ইজ এ কোশ্চেন अबाउट ergonomics and sustainability and ergonomics uh, and desk adjustable desk can they use uh, in the rng sector will they take up so the sustainability is okay. already course sunte perechhe na dr haru e matro ekta prashno koreche ha ha so it's okay okay so i think uh, Uh, the sustainability okay i could not go to the slide but here definitely it is a uh, we have the man and uh, machine and the environment we need to keep it together so if uh, we can have a better uh, health better things for the human being so definitely it will increase the sustainability and uh, we also look after the say that it could not uh, hamper the environment so we will design such a way and it will be there is a correlation not maybe direct but indirect correlation in that way and also again the, the question about rmg sector can they take it uh, yes this a cost is a factor and bangladesh is uh, having the his position due to the low cost so is it will they talk is a good is a prime question so our, one of the tar target of our research will be to make it uh, as low as uh, possible okay now i'm handing over to professor ikbal okay now ekta prashno was asked by ইন্ডাস্ট্রিয়াল উচিত এখন নাই এখন বিভিন্ন ইন্ডাস্ট্রি গুলা তাদের যে স্যালারি দেয় যেরকম বিএসসি ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং গ্রাজুয়েট যারা করে মেকানিক্যাল ইলেকট্রিক্যাল বা কেমিক্যাল তারা ফ্রেশ মনে হয় টোয়েন্টি স্টার্ট করে ফ্রেশ জব স্যার এটা অনেক বেশি বলে ফেলেন অনেক কম কমে জয়েন করে আমি জানি টোয়েন্টি এগুলা স্টুডেন্টরা বলে না বাট এভারেজ লি আমি যদি বলি টোয়েন্টি টু টোয়েন্টি ফাইভ তো ইট ইস Uh, it is already for the last 2 3 years erokom hocche but university wise jerokom amader university jekhon on campus bhaibate ashe we discuss about the salary for the student who are chosen for that particular job so the university authority or the academician they have to come forward along with the government government has to take initiative there should be rules and regulation about the salary for the industry level but now the different industry different bhabe niche ekhon there is a competition because so many department in the same discipline like mechanical onek kholeche computer science onek kholeche tripoli kholeche onek there are so many private universities before there were only a few say 10 to 20 years back but eto ekhon competition je ke age job e jete parbe kom salary te dhute jacche so this is what happening but your 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 question is okay there should be one standard and it also come from the top level from the government side plus the university has to work with them sir amar kothay byadobi niben na sir kintu amar jeta mone hoy seta hocche je erokom engineering backgrounded student der jodi ekta standard salary maintain na kora hoy tahole amar mone hoy na je amader je ei ekta আমি বলবো এটা অসুস্থ প্রতিযোগিতা ঠিক আছে আমরা এখন মনে হয় নেক্সট যে আমাদের শিডিউল আছে সেখানে যেতে পারি ঠিক আরো এরকম যে প্রশ্ন 
शेष कर सार्टिफिकेट इन Six Sigma Black Belt, postgraduate diploma in quality management. So is the real person is our today. Uh, his topic is uh, the evolution of quality management system and its future. So now welcome to the Vinod uh, Shankaran. Now. Hello, Dr. Kamal. Are you able to hear me? Hi, yes. Vinod Shankaran. Good afternoon. Yeah. So, hello. 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 Ah, yes, yes, yes. Any problem? Please share. Can you hear me? Hi, yes. Yeah, we we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear. You. I can hear. You. Ah, okay. So, everyone, thank you so much for inviting me for this wonderful. Symposium. Uh, uh, special thank you, Dr. Rashid, all the audiences who attended the symposium. Most probably, Chole gets the honor here. Network, network. So, brother, one two days problem maybe in the network. Or... नेटवर्किंग <laughs> No. Do, do you like to turn on your video? Uh, your your name is showing, but do you like to turn your video or share the screen, the PowerPoint slides? Please share your screen. Yeah, yeah. It's coming now. Uh, still sharing. Double click. No. I think it's coming. It takes some time, but. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have to wait. I think it's it. Is it okay? Abul, cast this now. Tell me when she starts. Here we can only see that Vinod Shankar has started his screen sh sharing, yeah. but it doesn't come up yet. But here, mine it is shared actually. So you can share again. You just go out. Can it? Okay, I am just trying it once again. Okay, yeah. What about now?
No, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, now we can see it. Okay. Let's go. Yes. Yes, yes, it's an okay. You can continue now. So I'm just starting with a topic which I'm I am I, I hoping that everybody is able to see my screen. Once again, I'm just reconfirming that. Everybody is able to see my screen, right? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Ah. So the topic uh, I have chosen today is quality management system evolution and its future. Uh, 20 minutes is actually sufficient to discuss this topic, but however, I thought I will just give a uh, bird's eye view or a micro, macro uh, view of it so that our young engineers can uh, look into it and they can start thinking about it. Yes. So, Shall I continue? Continue. Please push it, push it. And so you just tell me. Okay. Ready? Ready. Okay. So, okay. So, uh, definition of quality by different point of views. So, if you give a definition to quality, uh, there are so many definitions available to quality. I have, to, I have to, uh, different point of views. We can uh, design quality. You see? Okay. So, uh, from customer point of view, if I quality, it will be like quality means fitness of for use and meeting customers customer satisfaction now if you define quality in, pro, in the process point of view we can say that quality means conform, conformance with the process design standards and specification from product point of view if you look into we can define it as quality means degree of excellence at an acceptable price and from cost point of view we can say quality means best combination of cost and features. You are all able to see my screen, right? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Now, when we are talking about quality, first we should remember about the gurus or the teachers of quality who had given a tremendous contribution to this particular field. Uh, there are many gurus or teachers are available in quality. However, some of the names I have given you, uh, I'll just quickly run through their name. Philip uh, B. Cosby, who is uh, recognized as a uh, globe uh, guru of quality management and a business philosopher and innovator who changed the way of organization. Seek to achieve greater efficiency, reliability, and profitability. Deming, Edward Deming, everybody knows, he is the father of PDCA, Plan, Do, Check, Act, Cycle. That is also called in Google. And he is also Deming's starting point management. He is the major uh, contribution by Edward Deming. Next is Armand Feinbaum, Total Quality Control Management. Management involvement. This is question by Herman B. Feinbaum. Uh, Ishikawa, Ishikawa, as everybody knows, Fishbone, cause and effect diagram, Ishikawa diagram, and next operation is the customer. This is the concept brought by Ishikawa. Everybody knows this particular Ishikawa, which is also called cause and effect diagram or Fishbone diagram. Next is Joseph and Juran who is Pareto principle, quality triology, quality planning, quality control, and quality improvement. Quality principle, it is the first coined by Joseph and John in, in the subject of quality. 
and the concept of cost of poor quality brought by Joseph M. Juran. Again, Shrevat is another guru who has brought the control chart. What we are seeing currently in the statistical quality control, it is brought by Walter A. Shrevat. And the statistics can be used for improving the process as uh, in this particular concept is brought by Walter A. Shrevat. Bill Smith, he is the first to introduce the term Six Sigma. Uh, Taguchi, the, uh, the main architect for design of experiment, Taguchi design. The experimental design method, concept of design laws are brought by Benichi Taguchi. Michael Harry, the main architect of Six Sigma. And Forrest Bray for Six Sigma. So these are some of the gurus I have given here because we should remember all these gurus who have brought our uh, quality culture into today's present uh, level into all their contribution. Next, I am touching upon the evidence of quality. There. I am hoping that everybody is able to see my screen, right? Yeah. Uh, if something is there, you just tell me. I will stop there. Huh? Otherwise, Keep on continuing it's okay, please continue. Time, uh, uh, next is evolution of quality. It started in uh, 13th century, where the medieval guilds were responsible for developing strict rules for product and service quality. And inspection committees enforce the rules by marking flawless goods and with a special mark or symbol. So in the medieval, uh, in the 13th century, when the guilds were responsible for uh, making the parts, they were inspection committee were enforced for marking flawless goods with a special mark. Flawless goods with a special mark and symbol. It was a craftsmanship. Young boys learned skill, treasure, went to a master of so kind of family kind of where there was a master and this master will bring uh, people as apprentices. And the craftsman took personal pride in their workmanship. So it was kind of a family kind of business where the master craftsman uh, will uh, give the uh, training to apprentice and they will, he will get the things done through his uh, apprentice. And when the tailor system went uh, the craftsman became inspectors and managers who executed the plans. Inspection department to detect and remove defective items. So uh, when the industrial revolution started, these craftsmen, they all became the inspectors. And they, they, it became a different manager, different, and uh, people who work in the hand was different. These are all the revolution brought by Taylor's system. Shevat, a statistician of uh, Bell Laboratories, began to focus on statistical quality control. So industrial uh, yield reduction could be using statistical things. This particular thing was point by uh, used in our uh, uh, manufacturing industries. Uh, this first concept brought by Walter Shevard. Next, aluminium is a safety issue during World War II. The military developed a sampling inspection system and a train, they trained the suppliers accordingly. And uh, 1946, after a World War II, developed a, uh, now what we are seeing is the TQM, Total Quality Management, or uh, the present quality system, it is the birth has happened from 1946. So what you are seeing, what we are seeing all TQM, TPM, all this principle started, its its birthplace was there, and slowly, slowly it has come to a mature level. And what we are seeing is all these new new concepts of quality started by started from 1946 onwards. Now we will talk about what is why is so much importance for quality? Why is so much importance uh, quality management system? Uh, what will happen? If uh, 0.1 percent of rejection happens in a in a process. That is how a quick look into it. 
If it is a 99.9% quality means, what are all the effects of bad quality? Let us see. 0.1% means two plane landings at Chicago or Ohio will be unsafe every day. Chicago, Ohio in uh, America, two plane landings will be unsafe every day. There will be two unsafe uh, plane landing. There will be 20,000 incorrect drug prescription would have been written by during a year. 1,3260 uh, tax returns would have been processed incorrectly. 22,000 checks will be deducted from the wrong bank accounts in next 60 minutes. Within an hour, there will be a 22,000 checks which will be a, from a wrong account. 107 incorrect medical procedures would be performed per day. 500 incorrect surgical procedures performed. Maybe he has been disconnected again. <laughs> Evolution of quality management system. That is ISO 9000. <clears throat> so what we are seeing currently, the ISO 9000, it is actually started in <clears throat> 1987. This... It was... Share your yes, slide. The slide has been disconnected. Please share your slide again. What do you say? One second, I, I need to share. Yes, yes. Okay, one second. Has it come? No, no. Sharing. That's come? Not yet. Not yet. Oh. Yes, yes, now it's okay. You can. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. When before ISO 9000, it was like uh, America, or British, all people, all the uh, plants are there on quality management system. And it was a very difficult for suppliers to supply with their quality, uh, customized quality management kind of system. Because each customer will have their own requirements. So globally, they, it was decided that we will have a common kind of system which can be uh, applied in any kind of industry and it, it can be easily followed by any suppliers. So that is all. And that time there were three. 9001 was basically uh, looking for uh, people who are um, responsible for design. ISO 9001 for, 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 for people who are responsible for design. 9002 was for people who are built to print. The customer will give the drawing and part will be made by the supplier. 9003 was for uh, applicable for service industry. So it was in the three, set, the three kind of certificates were there that time. 1994, there are no much difference. The same standard followed in 1990. So with uh, some uh, revisions, uh, they like uh, showing down the documentation of documentation part, but it was more or less same. 1980 and 1994. One of the this particular system was this was a class approach. Class approach means 4.1 is a one class which is called my management system. Say 4.10, it was a class called calibration. So it was a class. So the auditor will come and do audit particular clause that is 4.1 if they come and do uh, 4.1 audit they will just look into the requirements of 4.1 and if it is okay then you will say that particular clause is okay 
when he go he goes for 4.2 he will look into the requirement of 4.2 and if it was uh, if it was okay he would declare that particular process okay so there was no linkage between e individual processes so that was the drawback of iso 9000 in the 80s or 94 in 2000 they they brought a, a new revision which was more related to process approach process approach means uh, there is there will be a core process uh, that is say production is a core process or service is a core process and there will be supporting processes like marketing maintenance quality uh, so those are all supporting processes and their interaction with the suppliers and uh, customers so it was totally a process approach so in 2000 the iso 9000 converted totally into a process approach the interaction between each process was considered that and the, there was a linkage so this was a uh, the, the advance of iso 9000 2000 and 2000 2008 again they have revised it but there are no much difference between 2000 and 2008 there are some uh, drawbacks were there that are not got captured in 2008 but now currently it is 2015 there is again a major difference between 2008 and 2015 here they approached risk based thinking so here each process and interactions will be gone for a risk based so what will happen to the customer or what will happen to the our own process or what are all the potential failure which can happen so that kind of approach is taken and 2015 when it is uh, revised to the new level that is 2015 which we are currently seeing so it's on 2015 is more based on process approach plus that is the question so it is industry for uh, it is almost started in many of the countries so with that how will be the process audit it will be like a virtual audit kind of situation so in like we are doing a virtual uh, quality symposium there will be a virtual quality audit so uh, currently there is a work going on in iso 9001 auditing practices so here there is a uh, iso 9001 auditing practices uh, uh, practices group is currently working on this hopefully we'll uh, be able to see this one maybe next year or so so i uh, automation um, uh, internet of things Uh, machine learning all these things are in manufacturing and distribution and services so this one is the base for this virtual audit so this is going to be the next uh, uh, quality management system which we can see in the coming years now again we will look into it craft model was based on इंडिजुअल कस्टमर अटेंडिंग द कस्टमर ऑर्डर्स एंड प्रोड्यूसिंग द पार्ट अकॉर्डिंगली इन दर नाइनटीन थर्टीन we can have, you can the, the famous quote for uh, henry ford is you can have any color as long as it is black he has quoted it is for t model car so all the cars which were produced during that time it was a variety only uh, black color car and say only one car it is t model car and it was made in the mass production so it has created a very low cost but uh, low variety low cost and low variety and mass production industry 3 which which featured digital control sensor and it customers had the choice for varieties and economically viable products so this is so industry 3 now we are all switching our industry four but currently industry 3 as we are seeing we can have more varieties and it is have digital control sensors and it uh, enabled systems and it is economically viable products now the realization of industry for part way for high varieties more customization and individualization the feature is high efficient and low cost
you know, consulting industry for how they will be. So I am giving a very brief about it. I am not going to invent to very depth. This one. Uh, super connected IoT platform. IoT is Internet of Things. Internet of Things is a software platform. Uh, services are operating that connects all Internet of Things, all the elements, all the materials by facilitating communication, data flow, and device management. So the Internet of Things means the the, the traditional thing will be embedded with a, a software and sensors, and there will be a super connectivity with the uh, between stakeholders. The platform enables various applications through cloud computing, big data, and artificial intelligence. So this is going to be the, our future. Super connectivity connects all smart products producing smart, smart factories. So all the smart products, which I told already, it is an embedded system, and it is made in a smart factories, and also connectable to customers, suppliers, producers, and extended business enterprises related to those products to computers. So effect of product development and in production. So when during the development, first you need to identify a new product. And in this uh, software platform, all the connected people, uh, the designers for solution providers, um, like uh, smart plant engineers, data scientists, uh, designers, and even customers, they come together to the platform and they give their idea. And with that idea, several virtual prototypes are getting made and it undergoes various testing. And by doing iterative improvements, it comes to be a, a final kind of product. So this product is getting, going to enter into the So with this super connectivity, unlike the traditional way of designing and prototyping, here the number of stakeholders are more, and there will be more customized and more uh, related to uh, people who are interested, who are ready to buy the items with as per their uh, will. And industry foreign backs to manufacturing ecosystem. The whole manufacturing ecosystem is going to get it impacted by industry for uh, evolution. Additional IoT devices are embedded into traditional hardware their capability. Uh, besides traditional quality method, deep learning, artificial intelligence, and cloud computing can be applied. They are powerful and same than one hour to misuse. For one example, if you say a 3D scanner. Can scan the part and quickly create a 3D models. Then a ordinary CMM. CMM is a coordinate measuring machine. So the, the present approach or traditional approach is that if you have got a product which needs to be uh, designed, you have to take it to a coordinate measuring machine and it will take all the area and it will make a 3D model. It will take its own time to make a, to measure that part and make a model for that. Today's world in the industries for world, it is going to be just uh, within within minutes we can make a uh, 3D uh, part, 3D model part, 3D modeling then within minutes. So 3D scanner can just scans the part and it creates a model. So this is the speed. That is why it is called a super connectivity. This, that is going to be the speed in the industry for. And what are all the changes for quality? Who are all accountable for quality? Now if you see. The previously, there will be some customers uh, inputs will be given to marketing department or quality department and production. Maximum, these are all the stakeholders for quality. Now, with this industry for all quality for, we can see that compared to quality management system, IT specialists are going to play a role. Data scientists going to play are going to play a role. And IoT platform managers will be a new stakeholders. So, current uh, in addition to traditional uh, stakeholders, there are going to be more people who are going to be accountable for right quality. So, what is the voice of quality, voice of customer for industry for our quality for user and available in new formats like social networking? IoT digital touches and customers on online feedbacks, etc. And 
IoT embedded smart products and smart equipment will dominate industry for vast amount of data can be sensed and collected and transmitted. Compared to traditional uh, method of DOE, uh, the design of experiment compared to the current uh, methods of optimizing for process parameter, the industry for or quality for going to use artificial intelligence. Because of super connectivity, entire product life can be transparent and interactive. So now the customer themselves can sense what is going to be the product life cycle. And they can uh, demand other their additional feature if they want, they can demand. And data quality and data calibration. Now, quality for is going to be highly dependent on data. And the quality is extremely important. Uh, data calibration is extremely important to know hygiene factor and proof. So the more challenging thing is that the data which is collected, um, we want to know how, how much hygiene it is and uh, how much truthful it is. So this is going to be the challenge at the same time with the new uh, industry for or quality for requirements. And uh, as I was telling how it is going to be the uh, new kind of audit so this is a virtual process auditing so this is will give a, uh, a picture how it is going to be uh, as i said there is a process index so what are all the desired output from a process what are all the interactive processes which are all the risk involved how many uh, how is the outcome monitored so this is the process intent and digital programming what are the uh, from where the data are coming or what data are coming how was the formula and equation validated person responsible for operating equipment and validating digital program the so actions by the program what are the actions that program are executing to achieve the expected program equipment what equipment is involved in running the program and cyber security so this is more talking about the embedded system from where the a data is coming or a data scientist collecting the data, what is the truthfulness of that data? What is the hygiene factor of that data? And what are all the formula or what are all the program uh, you have made to enable uh, that particular data into use? And who are responsible for? So these are going to be the additional uh, auditing uh, uh, other than our traditional auditing uh, uh, process these are going to be the additional uh, uh, process auditing with the uh, new kind of uh, quality for in quality for so this is a, uh, a schematic diagram how the additional kind of uh, auditing is going to take place so this is uh, this is the future of you can say quality management system and uh, auditing system uh, with that, there is a uh, last word speech from Johan who declared that 21st century would become the century of quality. So we we'll hope that we we'll hope that we can create this new quality, new way of quality, or better way of quality in this current century. So with that, I am concluding my uh, talk. Thank you very much. Oh, that's a uh, place. Sorry, a uh, nice presentation of Vinod Shankaran. Uh, the evolution of quality management system and its future. So, any question from participant? In this regard, any question? Sir, I'm going to ask you a question. Yes, I'm going to ask you a question. First of all, I'm going to ask you a question. 
आलाप कर रफिकुल इलाम Assalamualaikum. I am Engineer Muhammad Rafiqul Islam. Uh, yes, engineering from Ruyat, mechanical engineering, MBA finance from AIB. Uh, now I am working in uh, National Tubes Limited. National Tubes Limited uh, is a pipe man in Bangladesh government owned. Uh, I am talking today uh, for implementing the. CMS system in production process national tubes limited it's based on our uh, industry practically we doing lot of lot of uh, quality system and our another colleague will also discuss the other part in quality system i am just uh, discussing production process so uh, quality management system we also uh, a quality management system is defined as a uh, formalized system that documented procedure process and mission for the achieving quality policy so the we uh, as we as we are uh, quality management system there is a lot of element and we are uh, also uh, We are also maintaining the quality policy in our uh, API high well. Uh, we are also maintaining quality policy and quality objectives. We are maintaining the quality manual procedure for uh, lot, uh, all process, all process, and every uh, machine we have the work instruction. Yeah, and every work instruction we are maintaining uh, with an identification number. And all of the uh, uh, pipe has the um, record for identification and feasibility system. Uh, we are doing the data analysis, and uh, for the internally, the internal department, uh, all department, we are auditing as the internal auditor. Uh, we are mainly focusing for our customer satisfaction because the. product is quality full or not it's depend on our customer satisfaction so every customer when we are delivery the product we are uh, giving a uh, we are uh, taking a review from uh, the customer the our and it's a uh, uh, we have a customer satisfaction from and we are telling every customer to 
this report. And the National Disk Limited, we had some idea, giving some idea for National Disk Limited. National Disk Limited is the first and largest pipe manufacturing government owned company in Bangladesh uh, since 1964. It's called in Adamji Pipe. And then in 1972, it's uh, nationalized under Ministry of Industries. Ministry of Industries and the only government owned steel pipe producer in Bangladesh. Now it's uh, in 1989, uh, Bangladesh government offloaded 49% share to the public. We are manufacturing uh, the API Fiber line pipe. And ASTM A53 grade B pipe, marine red pipe, MS pipe, and GI pipe with 20, 30, and 40 degrees. And we also uh, produce uh, uh, APA pipe from uh, 3 4 inch to 8 inch, and MS pipe from half inch to a, eight, a 4 inch. This is our product MS pipe, GI pipe, and APA pipe. API. We are uh, in Bangladesh, the only one, only licensing body from API. API is the American Petroleum Institute is organization who provides standard manufacturing pipe that is used in oil and natural gas industry. In Bangladesh, all of our gas line pipe we are producing and supplying all in Petro Bangla and others uh, industrial gas lines. API. Uh, pipe is producing as a guideline from American Petroleum Institute with following standard of API 5L. The raw material to finish product is every step strictly maintained as per requirement of API 5L. This pipe is used mainly gas transmission, domestic gas line, oil and water line, different industries for various parts. The pipe is also used in fire hydrant and HVAC system and also in ship building system. The process flow for API pipe, the, we are uh, importing the raw material uh, for HR coil, hot roll steel strips coil, and then it's uh, yes, uncoiling. Then it's uncoiling and uh, then leveling and we're seeing this forming. In this part, the strips is forming as a pipe, uh, and we are uh, producing PRWA pipe, electric resistance holding pipe for 4 lakh hertz frequency. And we have the two process. There are the seam saving in inside and outside also. In inside, it has a API standard in 1.5 ml. We are uh, maintaining the inside bit is 1.5. Outside is the uh, clean to clean shaving, and then it's uh, cooling, water cooling, and we are doing the NDT system, a PD current flow detector system. In PD current flow detecting, we are uh, focusing any uh, any kind of uh, detection, um, any kind of leak or any kind of roughness in the uh, seams side, and after that, uh, in sizing section, sizing section, we are doing all the uh, parameter that the pipe dimension is very crucial in the if the pipe dimension is uh, without uh, out of tolerance then it will be customer dis, uh, dis, uh, dis confidence so the we are uh, it, it is very important to sizing section and after that we have a limit switch and we are cutting off the pipe as per customer standard Generally, we are producing 12 meter pipe. And after that, we are uh, doing the facing, facing or beveling. In beveling, we are uh, doing 30 to 35 degree angle in our pipe end because when two pipe is joining, then it will be a V shape. It will be a V shape, and welding will be perfectly done uh, for the both of the pipe and the. Uh, only strength will be increasing. Then the pipe is uh, then the pipe is going to uh, steadily uh, uh, hydrodistinct section. Hydrodistinct section in hydrodistinct section we are doing the pipe testing 
each and every hundred percent pipe we are testing uh, for hydraulic test. And after that, uh, in pipe end, we are doing the ultrasonic test. Every pipe we are uh, owing a record also. And after that, we are doing the marking side for the pipe. There is the details. This is the, our high frequency welding uh, slide. In pipe whose file is producing, there are two contact tubes which made this pipe for high frequency welding in parallel heart frequency maintained. After that, uh, we are uh, non we are doing two non destructive non test, NDT test. Uh, one is NDT is ED current. It is the online ED current testing. Uh, maintaining the QMS, the, the need pipe number, and we are doing a pipe number mentioned here, as mentioned in their uh, ER and their thickness and the pipe number. These three are mentioned in the pipe number pipe, and we are uh, when this pipe is producing. And in every step of the of this floor, we are we can uh, identify the position of this pipe from the base of this number. This is our unique identification. And after that, we are uh, going to our testing facility. In our hydro testing, uh, the, we are producing um, we are uh, putting pie, uh, water in this pipe and. After that, we are doing the hydraulic pressure FPI Bible standard. And each pipe, uh, each pipe uh, doing the pressure is a holding time is five seconds minimum. Uh, it can be six and seven, seven, but it is uh, not less than five seconds. After that, when the testing is done, uh, if the test is passed, then we mark it's a T, white color T. Uh, in the in our working process in our floor in working process pipe uh, we, if we find found that the pipe is marked as t then we uh, confirm that this pipe is tested so after the testing we are doing heat treatment heat treatment uh, we are doing uh, annealing furnace uh, open heart annealing furnace we have and it's a normalizing process uh, 700 uh, 75 degree plus minus 25 we are doing the heat treatment the heat treatment the process is uh, and, uh, the pipe is uh, cool at room temperature and after uh, annealing uh, sorry after normalizing we are mark uh, yellow uh, we are mark and maroon color uh, white straight line if any pipe found in floor uh, uh, maroon color uh, straight line then we that this part already uh, normalizing is done after that we are doing the owing owing uh, we are maintaining uh, our as far as high standard we are uh, from up, uh, three four inch to uh, four inch we are uh, owing as a bundle of pipe and above the four inch Six, eight inch pipe. Each pipe we are maintaining the point. Um, and after that, all uh, when the all process is uh, done, then we are doing our monogram marking. The monogram we are uh, the example of our monogram is like that. The first of all, uh, the NTL means the National Tubes Limited. This is the API specification five L. That means we do. Uh, we are producing this pipe as per high-level standard, and this is our uh, license number 0025. And after that, we are doing their monogram. And monogram after monogram, this is the January 2020. That means this pipe. Uh, if this pipe is uh, producing in February month, then it, it will be in uh, February 2020. The 
we if we uh, if we see our uh, monogram marking then we are uh, giving a gist idea uh, of our pipe and this is the producing month january and this is the producing year the nr216 uh, it's a uh, another standard we are maintaining the bb or guru vedas for ship repairing uh, ship repair side pipe and after that this is our outside uh, pipe dimension and 5.6 is the thickness of the pipe uh, grade b and psl1 is the api standard and high frequency welding this pipe is producing as per well, high frequency welding I think the lecture of Prof. Uh, is al almost finished, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, last slide. Okay. And uh, the length of the pipe also mentioned is here. So, and every, uh, based on this pipe number, if we supply this pipe on the customer and customer end has any complaint, then we can find, we can need this uh, pipe number. And uh, with this pipe number, we can um, identify our uh, annealing, devilling, heat treatment, and all of the records we can uh, testing uh, through this. And also this pipe is test when tested and how much pressure it will take and uh, time and also pressure set record and pressure also we have reserved in our uh, PC. So um, this is our practically we are done this facility and everyone invited in our factory if uh, if you want to see the process uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. if you see the process and thank you sir okay thank you nice presentation of engineer of people islam he also uh, alumni of RUED. I am also alumni of RUED, so I am proud for Rafiqul Islam. He, he also belong the industry ministry. Uh, we are also belong the industry ministry. So thanks. Uh, we are uh, question taking in the panel of discussion that we're taking. Now I, I am inviting to the uh, last speaker from National Trip of Limited, Engineer Aminu Rahman. His topic title is Implementing Quality Management System in Manufacturing of API Line Pipe. Now, ask to present Engineer Aminu Rahman Russell. Aminu Rahman Russell. Uh, thank, thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, please share your slides.
शुरू कर मिट कर मैकानिकल and i am uh, working in quality control department national trips limited as an Inter enterprise of bangladesh steel engineering corporation about national trips uh, uh, national trips limited is enterprise of bangladesh steel engineering corporation and it is only api american petroleum institute licensee pipe manufacturing company in bangladesh until also iso 9001 2015 and api spec q1 certified company Quality management system is standard implemented by NTL. Uh, we implemented for quality management system in NTL uh, ISO 9001-2015 and API specification Q1. Uh, this is a special uh, QMS standard for provided by uh, API that is specification for quality management system requirement for manufacturing organization for the petroleum and natural gas industries. In National Tips Limited, uh, how we will uh, implement the QMS? I just uh, uh, easily describe the steps. First of all, we develop a quality manual. Uh, we know that quality manual is a guidebook uh, where the all requirement of the QMS standard is declared by the organization. Uh, how a, every clause and every requirement, how we we'll, uh, can maintain uh, that is the detail in uh, description in uh, mention in quality manual. National Tips uh, also has a quality manual. Are the, all the requirement ISO 9001 and uh, IP spec Q1 is mentioned uh, briefly. Secondly, establish a quality policy and quality objective. As per standard requirement, uh, every QMS organization shall be uh, establish a quality policy and quality objective. Quality policy is the commitment uh, with our customer to manufacturing the uh, and delivery product that will meet the maximum customer requirement. Uh, this is our quality policy uh, first of all we commitment uh, to our customer to manufacturing 5l grade b psl 1 pipe according to apa specification and msn gi pipe is for uh, bs 38 uh, 87 and bds 1031 steps for uh, next we establish a work instruction and procedure for a, every activity which is related to the product and servicing Uh, the benefit of the uh, uh, establish the working instruction is it will help to continue the quality product and servicing service for the any situation of the change the management of change uh, we know that every organization has a uh, suddenly change management management of change like operator uh, like a competent person that will be changed that is will be uh, transferred to another if we establish the working instruction for the every activity Like a machine operating, uh, like a activity operating, that will help when a new man, man is come, new a new person is come, uh, they will easily adopt uh, 
the, uh, his responsibility and his work by this work instruction. Next, the identification of the uh, customer requirement. National Limits Limited, uh, we identify the customer requirement and prepare a plan that is meet the maximum requirement of the customer. In NTL, we prepare the quality plan for each product. Uh, we already uh, uh, said that our product is uh, only pipe, figured API, MS, and GI. We National Tips Limited maintain the every, for every pipe, every uh, product, we maintain a separate quality plan. Our quality plan includes also the requirement for the applicable standard. Our applicable standard is ap 5 l specifically for manufacturing line pipe. Then establish the supply chain management. This is a uh, uh, important uh, requirement for QMS system. And this includes the purchase for the organization to produce customer required product, sales and delivery of the product and servicing, assessment of the customer requirement and satisfaction. And overall, the quality management system required the continual improvement. The, uh, to achieve the continual improvement, we conduct internal audit annually, down data analysis on the customer satisfaction, conformity of the product, supplier performance analysis, quality objective and non conformity and product failure. And we also the annually internal audit we conduct uh, uh, to find the gap for our uh, QMS system and uh, what the point that will be required or improvement uh, for the for that for that we uh, conduct annually internal audit in our system and this is uh, uh, for this uh, applying the technique we national tips limited we maintain the qms and implement the qms system in national tips limited and other all requirement for API uh, spec, uh, Q1 and API 5 will be implement uh, in National Tips Limited strictly annually uh, uh, from API, our certification body, they audited our system annual every, every year. They also uh, assessment and surveillance our uh, quality management system and other product uh, uh, quality control system. Uh, thanks everybody uh, for continuing with uh, me and uh, description uh, to, uh, to chance a description about National Tips QMS system. Thank you again. Everybody. Okay. Thank you. Amin Rahman Rasel. Now, uh, this is the time of the industry academy panel discussion this is the time uh, session chairman is the professor Doc, dr m mohammed iqbal the professor of shahzalal the now contacting the panel of panel discussion of industry academy panel discussion professor iqbal now present yeah, I'm present there. Uh, what about the panelists from the academia? Are they there? The, uh, can you name their? Uh, this name almost uh, not, but few people are uh, present there. Um, the we can, uh, for, with your permission, we can add your supervisor also. He is there. Ah, yes, yes, also. Uh, Professor Shorifullah uh, uh, is uh, there. Professor uh, also. I think uh, we can add him. He has been with us. On the uh, beginning of this program, uh, uh, Dr. Mijanu Rahman, also I see here. You have the name uh, Said Fokrul Hassan, Professor Dr. Samsuddin Ahmed, Professor Dr. M.D. Moshe Hossein, Professor Dr. Sarwar Moshe, Professor Dr. Haider Ali Bishas, Professor Dr. Lal Mohan Baral, uh, Professor Dr. Muhammad Ali. Harun, Dr. Harun, uh, Dr. Mojahid from Joshua Science and Technology. Then we have Aston Professor Chodri, uh, Johnny Mohin from Asanula, University of Science and Technology. And from Prime Asia University, Aston Professor Enamul Kobir. And lastly, from Notre University, Mr. Kamal Gomez. 
So these are the name of the respected panelists. And we have our uh, professor from uh, Japan, Professor Shurifullah. So should I start now or wait a one or one minute? I, I, the topic is actually about the uh, we have uh, academia and the, from the industry we have Hafizur Rahman CEO Summit Oil and Shipping Company Limited, Shafiur Rahman Country Manager G Star Raw Engineer Mostak Ahmed Jibon GM NASA Group. Mr. Monjur Kadeh, CEO, Asian Elevator and Technology. Lastly, we have engineer Tofajjal Hussain Bablu, MD Mega Power Engineering Limited. So these, these are the names. Uh, we, we also include the engineer Rafiqul Islam National Team Limited, okay. Aminu Rahman, and many uh, not include, but can include. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, we are, it's around five o'clock, more than five. So, you know, from two o'clock two onward. Uh, and uh, I think we can include those who are present here. So. Yeah, yeah. I think we should start now. Uh, those who are also present here, they can also participate. And I'd, I'd like to request. Uh, Dr. Um, Mamun, uh, to uh, somebody to write up the suggestions on behalf of the panel. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, my industrial management student, Haida. Uh, sir, sorry, sir. Uh, sorry to interrupt, sir. Sir, I mean, uh, did, did, did I roll? Did I roll? Can I? Asi, sir. Asi. We have our chair of the IM. He just joined. Industry side, you have to represent. Karan, you have to have the problem. Gula, as you have to do it. We have with us Dr. Moses Sarwar, our chair of the IM Bangladesh Society. He just joined us. Professor Moses, how are you from UK? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine because uh, because of the time difference, I couldn't join the morning yeah, session. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I didn't realize it. It is uh, very early in the morning. Uh, actually, the first time my time was there. Yeah, we do so, understand. Uh, anyway, we are lucky to have you. Now we are at the end of the program. We have this industry and academia uh, this discussion. Industry solution using quality management, and you are also one of the uh, member of the academic side. So okay. we are happy to see you. My uh, pleasure to be here. Yeah, yeah. So we, uh, okay, uh, Dr. Harun, I will start. So we have this um, topic, industry solution using quality management. We have the academia side and also the panelists from the industry. So I would like to uh, request somebody uh, from the industry side to uh, give some comments or some suggestion about the industry solution using quality management. Then I'll go for the academic side. Yes, from the industry uh, side. Anybody and those who are also participating here, also we, we see some engineers from the industry, those who have presented the papers, they are also allowed to uh, participate in this topic, please. I want to give a Jara industrial management student as a Tara Bangal was the parent from Shana English. No, 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 no. Yes, Bengali is also allowed. Okay, yeah. Please go ahead because we are running out of time. It is already 5 15. Engineer Jackie Russian. A Shuntasan of the engineer Jackie. Jesus Shunti. Abri Bolen, after the problem, Gula Bolen industry, the kid under problem, Otse to Bolen, after Kiki Fils current. Sir, I am going to show my then. I am going to give you some time. 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 I am going to give
আমি স্যার যেটা বলবো আর কি যে আমাদের আমি এর আগে আমি আরো দু একটা অর্গানাইজেশনে ছিলাম বর্তমানে যেখানে আছি তার আগে আমি বিভিন্ন জায়গায় দেখছি যে কিউ এস এর যে ম্যানেজমেন্টটা যে এখন বিভিন্ন জায়গাতে যে সার যে আইনের কথাটা বলছে আর কি যে আইনটা আসলে আমাদের বাংলাদেশের জন্য খুবই প্রয়োজন মনে হয় আমার কাছে কারণ হচ্ছে যে এখন আমরা অনেক জায়গায় দেখতে পারি যে আইএসও নাইন থাউজেন্ড ওয়ান টু থাউজেন্ড এইট সার্টিফাইড এটা এখনো কিন্তু আপনার মার্কেটিং চলতেছে আর কি যদিও এটা আইএসও টু থাউজেন্ড ফিফটিনটা গত বছরের সেপ্টেম্বর থেকে এটা হচ্ছে টু থাউজেন্ড এইটটা অফলোড হয়ে গেছে এখন কিন্তু কারো আইএসও নাইন থাউজেন্ড ওয়ান টু থাউজেন্ড এইট থাকার কথা না সবাইকে বাধ্যতামূলক ভাবে টু থাউজেন্ড ফিফটিনে চলে আসতে হবে তো এখন আমরা যেটা দেখতেছি যে বাংলাদেশে বিভিন্ন জায়গায় স্টিল নাও অ্যাডভার্টাইজিং হচ্ছে যে এরা হচ্ছে আইএসও নাইন থাউজেন্ড ওয়ান টু থাউজেন্ড এইট সার্টিফাইড এটা কিন্তু হচ্ছে মানুষ যারা হচ্ছে আইএসও সম্পর্কে জানে না তারা এর আইএসও সার্টিফাইড তার মানে এদের একটা কোয়ালিটি আছে কিন্তু সে কিন্তু কোয়ালিটি বেড়ে চলে গেছে কারণ হচ্ছে যে আইএসও টু থাউজেন্ড ফিফটিন কিন্তু তার এখন ইমপ্লিমেন্ট হওয়ার কথা কিন্তু সে টু থাউজেন্ড ফিফটিনে নাই আবার হচ্ছে দেখা যাচ্ছে যেটা যে এই যে বাংলাদেশের যে বিভিন্ন সার্টিফাইড বডি আছে এরা হচ্ছে যে আপনার কন্ট্রোলিংটা না থাকার কারণে যেমন অনেক অডিটর আছে যেমন আমরা এপি অডিট করতে গিয়ে যেটা ফেস করতেছি আমরা যে জিনিসগুলো মানে মানতেছি সেম আমরা আইএসও স্ট্যান্ডার্ড ফলো করতেছি আর একটা কোম্পানি আইএসও সার্টিফিকেট দিচ্ছে তারা কিন্তু এতটা স্ট্রিক্টলি ফলো করতেছে না এর কারণ হচ্ছে কি যে আমরা আইএসও সার্টিফাইড কোম্পানি ধরে নিব যে সে একটা বেসিক যে স্ট্যান্ডার্ড সেই স্ট্যান্ডার্ড টা মেনটেন করেই প্রোডাক্ট টা তৈরি করতেছে এই ক্ষেত্রে আমার মনে হয় যে এগুলো আসলে বাংলা একটা আইন যেটা হচ্ছে আইনের মধ্যে এই জিনিসগুলো থাকা দরকার যে প্রত্যেকেরই যারা সার্টিফাইড দিবে তাদের একটা কোয়ালিটি মেনটেন করা ওকে थैंक यू वेरी मच আপনার ইয়ের জন্য আমরা এটা নোট ডাউন করলাম ওকে এনিবডি फ्रॉम দি ইন্ডাস্ট্রি সাইড প্লিজ আর কে আছেন বলুন স্যার আমি একটু বলতে চাচ্ছি অনুমতি শেখ দিদারুল প্লিজ বলুন স্যার আমি শেখ দিদারুল আলম আছি একটা ডিকে কোম্পানি এস আমাদের আমরা মনে হয়েছে কাজ করতে গিয়ে যেটা দেখি টপ ম্যানেজমেন্ট থেকে শুরু করে একটা প্রতিষ্ঠানের সবাইকে এর ব্যাপারে আবার সচেতনতা দরকার এবং সবারই হচ্ছে এখানে অংশগ্রহণ দরকার তো আমরা বিশেষ করে আমরা যদি गवर्नमेंट অর্গানাইজেশন সহ এমনিতেই প্রাইভেটে আমরা আমাদের फ्रेंड सर्कल এর মধ্যে অনেকই আছে না সো প্রতিষ্ঠানের জব আমরা যেটা দেখি হচ্ছে মানে প্রতিষ্ঠানের টপ ম্যানেজমেন্ট থেকে মানে এই জিনিসগুলো সম্পর্কে কত বেশি গুরুত্ব দেওয়া হয় না তো এটা একটা ইমপ্লিমেন্টিং এর ক্ষেত্রে সমস্যা এবং 
যে কোনো আইএসওর যে যে সমস্ত রিকোয়ারমেন্টগুলো এগুলো যদি টপ ম্যানেজমেন্ট থেকে সহযোগিতা না হয় তো ইমপ্লিমেন্ট করা আসলে টাফ আলটিমেটলি যারা এই সিস্টেমটা নিয়ে কাজ করেন সামনে থেকে তো ওনারা যখন অডিট ফেস করে বা বিভিন্ন রিকোয়ারমেন্টগুলো যখন ফুলফিল করতে যায় তো তারা এই জিনিসগুলো হচ্ছে অনেক বেশি সাফারার হন এই জন্য যে সমস্ত অর্গানাইজেশনে বাংলাদেশে টপ এই কিউএমএস ফলো করতেছে ওনাদের টপ ম্যানেজমেন্ট থেকে টপ ম্যানেজমেন্টদেরকে এই কিউএমএস সম্পর্কে আরও বেশি এই সচেতন করার জন্য এবং অ্যাওয়ার করার জন্য বিএম থেকে আমার মনে হয় বা আমরা যে কিউএমএস নিয়ে যারা কাজ করতেছি তারা এই সমস্ত টপ ম্যানেজমেন্টদেরকে বিভিন্ন ট্রেনিং সেশনে অংশগ্রহণ মানে করানো উদ্বেগ নেওয়া যেতে পারে मोर्शेद मैनेजमेंट you know the management team and the top management commitment is vital uh, which has been proven uh, through intervention in many industries i used to uh, work for a project for last 6 years we successfully completed and we have the policy briefing we raised this issue the engagement of the top management they have to be trained along with the managers and in some cases the worker as well uh, everyone need to know about the what is the quality all about uh, we found that in the industry when we visited them in most of the cases although we maintain in few cases the quality uh, they put the documentation right somehow and when the system identified the uh, the documentation and the actual what is going on the floor they are they have a much difference uh, you know the that's why we have a quality problem and also shake didarul alam you say the product design and mass production is the same you know that when you design something you make sure you follow the right process which maintain the quality and and the end of the day you will have a less defects coming out from there i don't want to go to the certification uh, uh, dr mahmud rashid he is there he will talk about the ISO certification. There are many certification group in Bangladesh. They, they do the certification. Uh, I think if there is a government strict regulation on the certification, and that that might help the industries to be on the quality management system. Uh, the quality, basically, there is a cost, but it is it pays off in long term. Long term, if you implement the quality system in your organization or in the production system. at the end of the day the money is coming back to you at the beginning they may need training documentation so many things it looks different to the you know the management they don't want to change themselves but at the end of the day uh, we have results we have seen in many cases we improve the productivity simply looking at the quality management system and many of these you know the brands or the industries nowadays they going through the different certification also have their own quality management system in place thank you very much professor dr mohammed ibar we ekটু সংক্ষেপে ekটু address kori quality management system eta ekta standard ekta standard ekom iso hazar hazar standard diye geche ekhon ei standard iso kintu certification ta kore na etar bhalo ekta example ekom amra dite pari jemon government university gula ke lock kore dise university graduation dey सार्टिफिकेशन एरक अनेक कम्पानी आज आई एस ओर थे अनलिस्टेड तरह 
এখন ইউনিভার্সিটি গুলোর যেরকম কোয়ালিটি আছে যেমন ঠিক যারা সার্টিফিকেশন বোর্ডে তাদের এরকম কোয়ালিটি আছে এবং বিভিন্ন ধরনের কোয়ালিটি বিভিন্ন ধরনের সার্টিফিকেট আছে এবং তারা লাইসেন্সিং দেয় এখন এটা স্ট্যান্ডার্ডটা সেভাবে মেনটেন হয় না এবং এই জন্য গভর্নমেন্ট এই থার্ড পার্টি যারা অডিট করতেছে বা সার্টিফিকেশন দিচ্ছে তাদেরকে কন্ট্রোল করার জন্য একটা কোয়ালিটি কাউন্সিল অ্যাক্ট হচ্ছে যেটা আমি প্রস্তাবিত বাংলাদেশ সরকার এটা মনিটরিং করবে এটা লিগ্যাল ফ্রেমে যখন চলে আসবে আমার মনে হয় যে সমস্যাগুলো হচ্ছে সেগুলা কিছুটা হলেও এখানে সমাধান হবে একদম তো সব যে সমাধান হবে তা না কিছুটা ফ্রেমে আসবে এটা কোনো লিগ্যাল বডি নাই বাংলাদেশে এই মুহূর্তে কিন্তু একটা করার চেষ্টা করা হচ্ছে আরেকটা এখানে বলে রাখি যে আমাদের দেশের যে আইনগুলো আছে সেই আইনে কিন্তু স্ট্যান্ডার্ড গুলা কিন্তু ম্যান্ডেটরি না এটা অপশনাল আমি যখন ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ব্যবসা করব তখন হয়তো বায়ার চেয়ে বসে তখন কিন্তু লিগেল ব্যবসা করার জন্য মানে ন্যাশনাল ব্যবসা করার জন্য প্রোডাকশন দেওয়ার জন্য ইন্ডাস্ট্রি করার জন্য আইএসও সার্টিফিকেট এর প্রয়োজন নাই এই জন্য এটা गवर्नमेंट এর না কিন্তু गवर्नमेंट যেহেতু এখন গ্লোবালাইজেশনের দিকে যাচ্ছে মধ্যম আয়ের দেশ এগুলা টেক কেয়ার করতেছে এইজন্য ল এর দিকেও गवर्नमेंट চলে গেছে মোটামুটি আমার বক্তব্য এতে মনে হয় ইন্ডাস্ট্রি সাইটে যারা আছে তারা মনে হয় অনেকটা কভার হয়ে গেছে জিনিসটা আই আই জাস্ট नीड टू এডস এ লিটল বিট উইথ দ্য প্রফেসর মামুন রিগার্ডিং বিকজ we have a quality problem in the industry we also have a quality pro- problem um, you know the quality issues in the education sector as well as you mentioned that the university have the quality we have the quality assurance you know the center all these universities they have we have a directors additional directors also the uh, recently the ugc they have their own quality council which monitor all these universities degrees and everything so things are coming into the process nowadays i i believe Uh, the government or non government i mean the private or public all these university or institution will be under the you know the scanner of this council who is recently formed and uh, through the ugc so we we'll, we try to resolve the issue on the certification for the graduates and also the university individually will be have a their own certification for their quality management and quality assurance and obviously for the industry it has been in the, in the place for last many years with the different types of you know the certification agencies they are available in bangladesh most of them they are busy only to attract the buyers uh, not for their I, i believe not for their own purpose to develop their you know the employees or the management system they are only doing this on only for the to satisfy the buyer thank you uh, thank you professor moshir and uh, professor Harun. I would like to ask, uh, we have our guest professor from Japan, Professor Surifullah, to share your ideas and views about this uh, industry solution using quality management. Mute. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know Japan produces uh, very high quality product that's why it's expensive so quality is not always good you know <laughs> if you are expensive then people will go to another market so china is making money out of that korea is making money out of that something like that so quality control <laughs> is not always good you know anyway and uh, the main principle of quality control iso and all, all sort of things that they want you to keep record of everything so that if anything goes wrong you can go back and check so it, it is a sort of uh, uh, holding responsibility or making everything transparent so that the responsibility goes to the right person or something like that so if we go back to that principle that we have to track down everything in that case i think from bangladeshi you know, what do you call culture we we can have our own way of quality controlling or something like that for example a kanban kaizen all this stuff japanese style of say quality control qc quality circle and all this stuff it was tried in many other countries but the three thing is that 
the way uh, the worker and the manager react with each other in Japan is not the same in other country. For example, uh, Japanese in Japanese company, the CEO will eat with his uh, worker in the same uh, cafeteria. Can you make it in Bangladesh? No, you cannot. So the thing is that, okay, we will, uh, for internationalization, we will go for ISO and all those stuff. But the thing is that we have our own culture, we are doing things. So if we can track down our things in our own way and make uh, people responsible for that look, this is the problem. And the, the problem actually went to, to that particular time with that particular process. Now, who is the responsible? If we have our own way of doing this, this, these things, I think there is no problem. Probably we will do much better uh, in terms of quality control or something like that. Frankly speaking, Japan, they don't follow any ISO or something like that. They go by their culture. At the end of the day, it is found that it's much better than ISO or something like that. Or even ISO is taking idea from there or something like that. So in Bangladesh, I think we can, we can think about our own way of quality control things. There is no problem. Anyway, uh, this is my comment. Uh, thank you, Professor. We have uh, from abroad, I see uh, yeah. Professor A.H.M. Samsujua from Vasa University, Finland. Are you there, Professor Samsujua? Can you hear us? Anyway, uh, now for the other panelists, academia, I, I would like to ask Professor Haider Ali Vishash from Kulna University to share your views about the industry solution using quality management. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Professor Iqbal. Actually, uh, for, uh, for my views as a mathematician, I would like to say that quality is important factor for the production and process management and engineering, any industry, industry and uh, uh, process management. So better quality actually depends or involves better or proper or efficient management. So efficient management actually involved our skilled manpower or our workers or even the uh, uh, personnel who are involved in the, in, in the system. So in that case, I think we should properly train our workers or the resource manpower for the better quality product because better quality ensures the for per uh, national GDP uh, economy for the development of the economy of a country. In that case, I think I, I, I firmly strongly believe that we should optimize or we should uh, maximize uh, our profit. It depends on to minimizing our uh, workload or minimizing our uh, manpower even engaging our uh, best quality or skilled manpower in that case. So proper management, I think, proper management means a quality management actually is fully responsible, I think, for the quality of the product and consequently for the better benefit of the national uh, GDP. So this is my view actually. Thank you, uh, Professor Haider. We are nearly at the end of this uh, panel discussion. I would like to ask uh, Dr. Harun Rashid, our uh, IOM Society uh, Secretary. Uh, Dr. Harun, are you there? Yes, I am. Thank you, yes. Professor. Could you please share your views and some comments regarding this matter? After the panel discussion, I am just summarizing the uh, the quality bimno industry te i story jeta ache seta sobai up to date korche na then hoyto amra professor shoshulla jeta bollen je amra hoyto amader bangladesher perspective e amra shibhabe hoyto quality ta separate ekta 
নীতিমালা করতে পারি এবং সবাই কোয়ালিটির জন্য আমাদের যদি একটা স্ট্যান্ডার্ড থাকে বাংলাদেশের জন্যই হয়তো আলাদা একটা স্ট্যান্ডার্ড ওইভাবে আমরা আইনগতভাবে ফ্রেমওয়ার্কটা করতে পারি যেটা অলরেডি হচ্ছে অলরেডি কাউন্সিল হবে এটা আমরা ভাবে ভালো হবে এবং আমাদের বিভিন্ন ম্যাথডোলজি এবং আমরা যেটা আমার সবই যেটা ছিল আর্গোনমিক্স সেটাও হয়তো আমরা ইনক্লুড করতে পারি কোয়ালিটির ক্ষেত্রে আমরা আর্গোনমিক্সটাও আমাদের ইন্ডাস্ট্রিয়াল ডিজাইনে এবং বিভিন্ন কোয়ালিটি অফ লাইফ অফ দ্য দোজ ওয়ার ওয়ার্কিং সেখানে আমরা ইউজ করতে পারি সেটাতে আমাদের মনে হয় একটা হলিস্টিক কোয়ালিটি ভিউ আসবে ইন্ডাস্ট্রি সাইড শুরু করে সেখানকার আমি দেখতাম তো আমার কোশ্চেন যেটা ছিল স্যার যে মানে আনলাইক যে প্রোডাক্ট প্রোডাক্টের প্রতি আমরা যে কোয়ালিটি ম্যানেজমেন্টটা বা কোয়ালিটি কিউসিটা যে পরিমাণ আমরা করে থাকি বা যে পরিমাণ আমরা দেখে থাকি কিন্তু সার্ভিসে আমি পার্টিকুলারলি যেটা বলছি যে মেডিকেল সার্ভিসে কিন্তু আমরা কিন্তু খুব কম প্রেজেন্ট দেখতে পারি যে এই ধরনের কোয়ালিটি ম্যানেজমেন্ট আপনি খেয়াল করে দেখুন যে ইন্টারন্যাশনাল স্ট্যান্ডার্ড শুধুমাত্র একটা হসপিটালে যেটা এবার কি আছে দেখতে পাই না বর্তমানে যে আমরা যে করোনা মহামারীতে যে ইয়েটা দেখলাম যে বিভিন্ন হসপিটাল এর নাম আসলো যে ভুয়া আপনার করোনা টেস্ট করে এই ধরনের কোন কোন রকম কিন্তু কোয়ালিটি কোন রকম ম্যানেজমেন্ট বা কোন রকম ইয়ে নেই আমার কোশ্চেনটা হচ্ছে স্যার যে गवर्नमेंट বা একটা সেলফ ইনিশিয়েটিভ কিভাবে এটা মানে নেওয়াটা উচিত गवर्नमेंटের পক্ষ থেকে কিভাবে ইনিশিয়েটিভ নেওয়া উচিত এই সার্ভিস সেক্টর বিশেষ করে হেলথ কেয়ার সার্ভিস সেক্টরে এই ধরনের কোয়ালিটি ম্যানেজমেন্টটা দেখার জন্য স্যার थैंक यू एनीबॉडी फ्रॉम द প্যানেল ইউ আর উত্তর দিতে যাচ্ছেন প্লিজ আচ্ছা আই থিং ইফ আই রেফার টু দ্য নাফিস মাহমুদ হি রেজ এ রিয়েলি গুড কোশ্চেন ইউ ওয়ার্কড ইন দ্য must then move to the healthcare service and customer service i been to this many of these hospitals uh, in bangladesh and we found that there is a certification you know the display at the beginning uh, somewhere in the reception normally they put this one even in the government hospital i have seen they have, they have their own certification from the local organizations in some cases international as well so they have some sort of certification in the service system but however we are in doubt similar to nafis maud he says that during the covid uh, when we give service to any hospitals we didn't have the certification that could be up to the government level they have to think about you know the provide the good certification so the public can rely and get the service from there and uh, professor shoulder says that the culture should be you know the japanese culture they don't follow any quality culture if we would like to make sure you know the our quality our service system according to our you know they're according to our requirements and that could be the culture that could be used for the uh, you know the health sector they all over the world particularly all the service sectors they maintain the certification and they maintain the service quality standards so the customer can go and have their service from there uh, there are many issues there are many issues of the funding issues of the training and issues of the manpower development so many issues are there hopefully the the quality council in bangladesh can be formed and then they can look after the uh, service along with the industries thank you uh, thank you very much professor moshan uh, our chair of the im society bangladesh chapter i think we have uh, uh, at the end of the session and the at the conclude uh, marking yes, yes. আমি স্বাস্থ্য অধিদপ্তর থেকে আমি স্বাস্থ্য অধিদপ্তর থেকে আমি পরিচালক করতে 
क्वालिटी management system quality management system in procurement and quality management system in hospital service management ei dui ta jagay amader bodhay emphasis da eto tai joruri hoye poreche je amader ke mone hoy ghure daranor shomoy eshe ebong amader protasha thakbe sir amader shasthya byabosthaponay jara e dhoroner daitoshil pode ache jodio hospital shakha tader quality management ekta secretary ache quality improvement secretary qic bol धन्यवाद रिक्वयर्ड more development ei ei gula mone hoy amader abaro hoto ba future e doctor engineer ra academician ra ekshathe stakeholder ra jodi ekshathe boshe bosha jay then the government will get some message and the government theke jodi ka involve kora jay apnar government e asen bm is part of the industry ministry aro kauke jodi health sector theke niye ana jay then it will be it will stand in uh, thank you very much जपानीमेंट कर चेकअप যে ইন্ডাস্ট্রি একাডেমিয়াদের ইনভলভমেন্ট আছে কিনা জাস্ট ব্লাইন্ডলি যাতে এই নীতিমালাটি ইমপ্লিমেন্ট না হয় সেদিকও আমাদের খেয়াল রাখতে হবে কারণ एवरीबॉडी ইজ স্টেক হোল্ডার অফ দিস দি কোয়ালিটি কন্ট্রোল সিস্টেম উপর এট দ্য এন্ড আই উড লাইক টু থ্যাঙ্ক অল মা অল দি পার্টিসিপেন্টস অফ দি প্যানেল এন্ড অ্যাপার্ট ফ্রম দ্যাট যারা এখানে আছেন জুমে থেকে এই প্যানেলে শেয়ার করেছেন পার্টিসিপেট করেছেন Uh, hopefully uh, bm and iom society bangladesh chapter e amader amra je bhabe kaaj kore ashechi and bishwa iom er amader chair person asen professor moshir i myself is the co chair and we have the member professor haider and the secretary dr harun so bm and the the and iom amra ekshathe kaaj kore এই সেকেন্ড বারের মত একটা সিম্পোজিয়ামে আমাদের কিছু নতুন কিছু আমরা পেলাম কোভিড সিচুয়েশনে আফটার কোভিড সিচুয়েশন কি করা উচিত সেটা নিয়ে আমরা ফিচারে আলাপ করব ইনশাআল্লাহ এই বলে আমার সেকশনে আমি সকলকে আবারো প্রফেসর ইকবাল আই থিং ইঞ্জিনিয়ার জাকির উড লাইক টু সে সামথিং ইফ ইউ এলাও হিম টু ইউ নো হ্যাভ এ ফর স্যার আমি একেবারে মন্ত্রমুগ্ধের মতো আপনাদের মতো হেভিওয়েট পারসনদের আজকে এই পার্টিসিপেট করতে পারছি প্রোগ্রামে সেজন্য আমি নিজেকে গর্বিত মনে করছি আমি একজন সিভিল ইঞ্জিনিয়ার তো আমি কাজ করছি হচ্ছে মূলত একটা ডেভেলপার কোম্পানিতে রিয়েল এস্টেট কোম্পানি তো স্যার আমার জানার বিষয় হচ্ছে আপনাদের এই বক্তব্য থেকে আমরা যেটা জানছি সেটা হচ্ছে 
কোয়ালিটি ম্যানেজমেন্টের উপরে আমাদের খুব বেশি আমাদের ইয়াকে চাপ দেয়া হচ্ছে বা আমাদের এখানে এটাকে ডেভেলপ করা হচ্ছে স্যার আমি যে বিষয়টা জানতে যাচ্ছি সেটা হচ্ছে কোয়ালিটির সাথে সাথে আমাদের দেশে এখন তরুণ উদ্যোক্তা তৈরিতে কতটুকু গুরুত্ব দেওয়া হচ্ছে কোভিড নাইনটিন এর পরে যে পরিমাণ মানে ব্যবসা প্রতিষ্ঠান বা সব ক্ষেত্রে যে একটা ড্যামারেজ আসছে সেই ক্ষেত্রে স্যার আমরা এটাকে যদি মোকাবেলা করতে হয় স্যার তাহলে আমাদের তরুণ উদ্যোক্তা তৈরিতে কি शरीफुल्ला थैंक यू वेरी मच बी आई एम एंड organization of im society bangladesh to organize this event uh, i'm really you know the delighted and delighted to see all these participants uh, having their time off for this uh, symposium online symposium and um, i would like to request now professor shurifullah he is from japan uh, to be the you know the chief guest of this closing ceremony and however all the dignitaries will be here So I would like to call Professor uh, Sharifullah. Thank you very much uh, for making me a chief guest. Though I don't in... deserve it. <laughs> yeah, I think um, uh, the conference went very well. We had a very knowledgeable person from industry. We have a highly experienced person from academia. So we had uh, two-way views. Uh, what always we say that customer and producer they should meet so we have uh, academia as well as we have our industry people and the, uh, the discussion that went very pragmatic and it will help uh, find out new solutions for uh, quality control in bangladesh bangladesh is probably will by next 10 years i think bangladesh will be the 20th largest economy in the world so many country will depend on bangladeshi product so uh, i mean uh, the quality bangladesh must have to ensure high quality and uh, uh, welfare of uh, the what do you call entrepreneur as well as workers so a bim will definitely will co continue to uh what do you call uh, contribute in this direction and uh, we will be very glad if we can be a friend of bmi in the years to come and i also uh, uh, give my regards to the organization organizer of, of this uh, excellent uh, conference and it is not only via bmi conference it has become an international symposium i would say a lot of people from other countries participated and one of the good thing that we could speak in bangla <laughs> which is our mother tongue and this is a, also a very good uh, opportunity for us and uh, i should not take your time probably you will go for pray uh, in japan we have our dinner time so i i would like to say thank you and goodbye Uh, th th thank you professor shirifulla and i would like to thank uh, all these uh, you know the organizing particularly dr mamun rashid and dr uh, all these keynote speakers uh, professor shamsuddin ahmed he is not here also the you are the one of the keynote speaker earlier and i was there because of the time difference i couldn't participate uh, it was very early in the morning during the positive time so 
I came out late, as I'm outside of Bangladesh, hopefully returning next week. Uh, the things we discussed today, because this is a serious issue for the quality, we have different names. Uh, Professor Kerkula says that it has a different name. Someone says it's the documentation, someone it says this is the training, someone is the quality circle. It got different names. Uh, you know, that you name it is there. If you maintain all the process designed through engineering analysis or from suggestion from the expertise, if we implement this one, it makes sure the qualities. And uh, is, is equally important for the products and the services, particularly hospitals, you know, that he says during the COVID, we have to make sure that the patient get the services. At the beginning of the COVID in Bangladesh, all over the world, is still outside of the world, inside the Bangladesh, the customer didn't get the services because of the fear. No one knows of what is going on there. But that shouldn't be, you know, the, we, we already lesson learned from the, you know, the March, April and May, so we can implement different process now so that if the second wave is coming, we can handle it in the hospital. And also one of the questions coming from the jacket ocean, which is not answered, I, I would like to just a little bit light on this one, the real estate. Obviously in real estate industries, they use the different ISO certification. And he said, what we can do for the new entrepreneur, for the quality. I think any new entrepreneur coming to the, you know, the, as a startup business, they have to make sure that there is the quality issues. It's not just you jumping around and start your own business. So you make sure at least you maintain the quality at the beginning so that the, as long as you grow with the business, you maintain the highest standard of the quality. Bangladesh is one of the, is become one of the biggest economy in the, you know, the, in the world. What, what uh, Professor Sharif uh, was saying that uh, within 10 years, Bangladesh become the 20th largest economy. I was listening to another video from the India yesterday. He said that this year, Bangladesh economy will, you know, overcome the, all the index of the, all the index of the India. So this is a good thing for Bangladesh. Uh, we are moving forward. Uh, like all the indexes, uh, Marshall is all the indexes. We are uh, we moving forward uh, from our point. And uh, hopefully by next year, if things goes, you know, the SS plan, uh, our country will be one of the big economic power in this region uh, on the service level and the product level. Because the China, you are saying that, you know, the, for the quality issues, China, Korea, and many, you know, the Asian countries, they compromise with the quality, with the product. So if there is a cost, you know, that you have to make a balance. So Bangladesh is, is, will be focused for the international production warehouses, hopefully in the coming years. So we have a, you know, the manpower, more than 50% of our population are the young. They are under 25 years of age. So we have a, you know, the huge number of working population, just we need to train them, we need to give the skill to them so they can engage in the business, also engage in the industry, also engage in the academic sectors with quality. So there will be no compromise on the quality and we have to develop our own quality cultures, which provide the avenue for Bangladeshi entrepreneurs, also for the Bangladesh economy, uh, be the one of the leader in the South Asia and will be the one of the example. And I would like to thank all the participants and everyone coming to the session today. And I would like to uh, request Professor Dr. Mamoon, if you'd like to say something about this, you know, the session as we are closing now. Professor. Uh, thank you. This is I am Ion Society ke special thanks to the Ion Society, BIMK, Idhonar Ekta Kaskarar Juno, Amadesh Hazukita Corporation, Professor Ami Ashakori. The IM Society to the Amadak Shuzuk that the Poti Marshi Amade on a program for the body. Current BIM Kazi Hello, seminar, symposium, training, and research. It is a BIM Kaz. Other IM Society, Ami Bolbo Pishkur is the secretary Arabi Shopoti. After the Eko Amadak Shuzuk that the Poti Marshi is on a symposium, seminar, Amrakotavari. Is an IM Society, Ami thanks the Taramadaki donated cast for Shuzuk. Among a kind of government or high official on a case, our industrial management participant as in Tarpore, a Bibino University, high level at the decision making professor as in our direct supervisor as in 
সবকিছু মিলে আমি খুব আনন্দিত এবং প্রাউড ফিল করতেছি যে এই ধরনের একটা প্রোগ্রাম করতে পারার জন্য সবাইকে ধন্যবাদ আশা করি পরবর্তীতে যখন আবার আমরা এই ধরনের প্রোগ্রাম করব আমরা যখন আপনাদেরকে চিঠি পাঠাবো বা মেসেজ দেবো আপনারা জয়েন করবেন সবাইকে ধন্যবাদ যারা আপনারা আমাদের সাথে লিংকে আছেন আমরা সার্টিফিকেট এবং কাউকে আমরা ক্রেস্ট যেখানে যেভাবে আসে আমরা দেওয়ার চেষ্টা করব আমরা সেগুলো সেভাবে পাঠাই দেওয়ার ব্যবস্থা করব অসংখ্য ধন্যবাদ সবাইকে ভালো থাকবেন থ্যাংক ইউ স্যার থ্যাংক ইউ আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওকে ওকে সায়োনারা এভরিবডি থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ নাইস টু সি ইউ টুগেদার অ্যাকচুয়ালি ইউ নো দ্যাট আই মিস 